Yo! Oh god, that was loud. Turning this down. I don't know how it sounds on the stream. I I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything I do is perfect on the first try. Even though technically there's a chest stream, so this is the second try if you think about it, but you know. Don't don't worry about it too much. That was the first of many you knows. This terrible habit's gonna come back and kill me. Oh well. But yeah, this is Star of the Stream. I worked very hard on this setup. It's an image. I mean it's not an image, it's a small video and some text. So Please be proud of it. Oh. That was a that was Planescape Torment you just heard. I'm gonna start playing that any minute now. I'm just seeing if anyone wants to come and still. Who knows? Probably not. Probably just be me playing. But hey, that's okay. Cause we got this chill music on right now. Bumper, bumper, bumper. Yeah, we'll be getting to that. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Never played it before, but I have played Disco Elysium, which is my favorite game ever made. So, I've heard good things about it. I'm sure it'll be fun. I'm gonna try and make this a series. And maybe it'll be turned into a video on my channel at some point. I don't know. Oh, yeah, follow my YouTube if you haven't. Uh, in the, there should be a little link below that has, you know, just Jason on it or something. It won't say just Jason, it'll say my YouTube. Alongside, there's also my Twitter and Discord, especially the Discord. That one's honestly slightly more important than my YouTube, if you think about it, really. So, uh, yeah. Okay, we've been going for a couple minutes now. Probably. Yeah, I'll let the song go out for a bit more and just wait a bit. We'll wait like one more minute before getting started, then I'll start playing the game. And also maybe Sonic is embarrassing himself later today, as he has been for the last couple of weeks, so maybe we'll watch that in like an hour and a half. I don't know. Honestly, I'm probably just going to forget because I don't really care. But seeing more of that open world would be pretty funny, so who knows. I sure don't. Bumba, bumba. I wonder if any of this music I'm playing is going to get me copyrighted. That would be pretty funny because I have not tested this playlist at all anywhere. So, we'll see about that. Maybe like I'll just get cut off any moment- NAH! <laughs> uh, hope the volume doesn't sound too loud. But I unfortunately I have no one here to tell me if it does or not, so I will never know. Look how it goes. Plain skip for me. Said the name of the game without any additional context or thought. Okay, the song just ended, and we're about to head into like, yeah, we're 8 minutes and 40 seconds in, so I should probably stop stalling, and we can get started. Alright, here we are. Planescape Torment. Okay, working. Uh, now unfortunately, I hope, oh, yep, that's kind of loud too, I think. Yeah, this, this game, it was kind of weird when I was trying to film it, so. For some reason, having it in full screen didn't work very well, and uh. Loud for me, but I can't tell if it's loud for you or not. So, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to be in it the whole time, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, I hope that's fine. I'm sure it will be. Um, there might be like some black borders on the sides or the top because of it. I'll fix those as soon as I can, or if anything's cut off, whatever. 
should be mostly centered. I think I got it mostly. I haven't gone into the game itself. I've just been on the main menu and the main cinematic, so. We'll see how this goes. Let's get started. New life. Uh oh, okay. I gotta start with character. Um, and this really is just D&D, &D, huh? I love this. How many points do I have? 21? Dex, Dex, just like my Elden Ring built. <laughs> just like the. Why does it decrease my armor class? Why would that ever happen? Okay, what do I want to go for? Honestly, spells would be really cool. Because despite the fact that I have played D&D &D before, I've mostly DM'd and have never gotten to a point as a player where I've been able to use any cool spells. So this might be the closest we can get to it. It'd be funny if there's like a random option. Also, I should probably have some charisma, and you don't want to dump Khan. So, these are going to be important. So, let's just do like, yeah, 15 intelligence. The ability score represents the intuition, common sense, and willpower. All memories and gives you a bonus to experience points. Your wisdom is average. Genius level. Oh, you can't take it away? That's kind of lame. It always to be not. I want. I, what if I want the minus one, the, the negative one build on my decks? What if I just want to clumsily go about, huh? There. Yeah, we want above average, probably. Damn. There. Oh, we should probably... Actually, no. That's prop. Here, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, this seems like a pretty good stat layout. Nothing exceptional, but nothing terrible. I know what I'm doing. I've never built a character before. I like the cancel option, like, no, 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 never mind, I get rid of this, no. I'm looking at the screen, and I don't think anything is super cut off, although once I get into gameplay, I'll be able to see, like, the uh, UI and stuff, so that'll help a lot. Hey, I'm liking this. Let's go. It's me. Hey, Chief. You okay? You playing corpse or you putting the blinds on the dusties? I thought you were a debtor for sure. <laughs> who are you? Uh, who am I? How about you start? Who are you? Don't know, I can't remember. I asked you for a skull. Let's go with that one. Yeah, and I asked you second. What's your name? <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. Can't remember your name? <laughs> well, next time you spend a night in this burg, go easy on the buff. Name's Mort. I'm trapped here too. Trapped? Yeah, because you haven't had time to get your legs yet. Here's the chant. I've tried all the doors, and this room is locked tighter than a chastity belt. <laughs> okay. We're locked in where? This place? What is this place? It's called the Mortari. That... Are you named after this place? The black structure. Uh, it's a big black structure with all the architectural charm of a pregnant spider. The mortuary? What am I, dead? Not from where I'm standing. Got scars aplenty, though. 
Looks like some Burke painted you with a knife. All the more reason to give this place the laugh before whoever carved you up comes along to finish the job. Scars? How bad are they? Well, the carvings on your chest aren't too bad, but the ones on your back... He pauses. Say, looks like you got a whole tattoo gallery on your back, Chief. Spells out something. What do they say? Eh? Looks like it comes with directions. Mort clears his throat. <clears throat> Let's see, it starts with... I know you feel like you've been drinking a few kegs of sticks, Wash. But you need to center yourself among your possessions is a journal. Now shed some light on a dark of the matter. Barrow and fill you on on the rest of the chant, if he's not in the dead book already. Does it say anything else? Yeah, there's a bit more. Let's see, it goes on. Don't lose the journal, or we'll be up in the sticks again. And whatever you do, do not tell anyone who you are or what happens to you, or they'll put you on a quick pilgrimage to the crematorium. Do what I tell you. Read the journal, then find experiment. I wonder if my back hurts. There's a damn novel written on it. That's for the journal what I'm, I'm supposed to have in me. Was there one when I, while I was lying here? No. You were stripped to the skins when you arrived here. Alright, looks like you got enough of a journal penned on your body. Nobody I know. But then again, I don't know many people. Still, Stumberg's got to know where to find Farad. Uh, once we get out of here, is, is, that is. How do we get out of here? Well, all the doors are locked, so we'll need the key. Chances are, one of the locking corpses in this room has it. Yeah. Mortuary keepers use dead bodies as cheap labor. Corpses are done of stones, but they're harmless, and won't attack unless you attack first. There's some other way? I don't want to kill them just for a key. What? You think it's going to hurt their feelings? They're dead! But if you want a bright side of this, if you kill them, at least they'll have to they'll have a rest before the keepers raise them up to work again. Well, alright. I'll take one of them down and get the key. Well, before you do that, arm yourself first. I think there's a scalpel on one of the shelves around here. Note. There's the shelves in the room for a weapon to attack the zombies ones with. When you find one, go to the inventory screen, the backpack in the lower right, and arm yourself. If you wish to examine any items you found, right click on them in the inventory screen. Alright. One last thing. Those corpses are slow as molasses, but getting pitched by one of them is like being kissed by a battering ram. They start getting an edge on you. Remember, you can run, and they can't. You to keep some distance if you need to recover. To run, you can toggle run on the option screen, or hold down the shift key, and left click on the area you want to run to. If you are in danger of dying, use running to keep your distance from the zombies while you recover. Alright, thanks for the advice. Out of play. Comet lag, display the additional combat details panel. Quick loot, quickly gather any drop items seen a selected character. Oh god, this is a lot. Looks like we can scroll the background already. Okay, this quick loot, combat log. Okay, how to play will bring this back up. That's helpful to have on a moment's notice. Here's my party member. <laughs> nice. Or all current actions. <laughs> Just, I can't wait to use that one. Like, oh shit, oh fuck, uh, I did not mean, oh god, I didn't think about this one. There's a pause button. Select weapon. Select item. Select spell. Oh god. Dialogue. Oh, for a minute, to just various game options or a statement mode. Oh, this is. Like pre spells to cast if available. Oh, I'm not gonna remember any of this. Pressing smooth. Really, it's just okay. I'm I'm not gonna be able to remember any of this, but we'll try it right now. Luckily, they have all this. Oh, this just kind of cuts the ambience. Oh, that's a zombie. Okay, or... Elf. And it is. Oh god, there's a weight system. Oh no! Todd!
All right, you found the scaffold. Now go get those corpses. And don't worry, I'll stay back and provide valuable tactical advice. Maybe you could help me more. I will be helping you. Good advice is hard to come by. I meant help in attacking the corpse. Me? I'm a romantic, not a soldier. I just get in the way. All right then. No, you can attack by selecting a weapon from the quick menu. Pressing the A key also toggles the attack cursor. Scaffold. That too. Yes. Left ring. Press. Where's my weapon? Whatever. Weapon. I don't want to part with that. Eyes can't be removed, only switched. Don't want to part with that. Don't want to don't part with that. Don't want to part with that. Die. Die. It's combat time. Kind of auto. That was that wasn't too bad. What did he drop? And it just Oh, you can talk to them. Oh, I just kind of murdered your pals. Corpse looks like it's the one with the key. It's holding it, it tightly in its left hand. Thumb and four fingers locked around it in death grip. Ah! Or help. Got yeah, one. Okay. All right, that's the key. Unless we have to one of these doors, I'll try all the doors then. Doesn't seem like there's much else I can interact with. Right? Yes, I have the key. Or not working. What's up? Oh, maybe sure, it's a not? different door. Oh, you can select a different oh, character. Cool. That's awesome. Watch out. There we go. Uh oh. We're in cutscene mode. Yes! Some dice, Chief. I keep it quiet from here on. No need to put any more corpses in the dead book than necessary, especially the Femis. Plus, the only of my draw the caretakers here. I don't think you mentioned it before. Who are these caretakers? They call themselves the Dustmen. You can't miss them. They have an obsession with black and rigor mortis of the face. They are an adult bunch of ghoulish death worship wor worshippers. They believe everybody should die. Sooner or better than later. I'm confused. Why do these dustmen care if I escape? Weren't you listening? I said the dusties believe everybody's got to die. Sooner, better than later. You think the corpses you've been on 
you've seen our happier than the dead book than out of it? Well, you said something about making sure I didn't kill any female corpses. Why? What? Are you serious? Look, Chief. These dead shits are all the last chances. Are all the last chance for a couple of hardy bashes like us. We need the. We, we need to be chivalrous. No hacking them up for keys. No lopping their limbs off. But things like that. Last chance? What are you talking about? Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? Chief, they are dead. We're dead. See where I'm going? Eh? Eh? You can't be serious. Chief, we already got an opening line with these limping ladies. We've all died at least once. We'll have something to talk about. They'll appreciate men with our kind of death experience. Wait, didn't you say before that I'm not dead? Well, alright, you might not be dead, but I am. And from where I'm standing, I wouldn't mind sharing a coffin with some of these fine, sinewy cavaliers I see here. He starts cackling his teeth as if in anticipation. Of course, the caretakers would be would have to part with them first, and that's not likely. But where did all these corpses come from? Death visits the plane every day, Chief. These shamblers are all that's left of the poor sods who sold their bodies to the caretakers after death. Alright, I'll try to remember that. Look, Chief. It's obvious I'm still a little addled after your kiss with death. So I got two bits of advice for you. One, if you got any questions, ask me, alright? All right. Second, if you're half as forgetful as you seem to be. Start writing stuff down. Whenever you come across something that might be important, jot it down so you won't don't forget it. If I had that journal I was supposed to have with me, I'd do that. Start a new one, chief. No loss. There's plenty of parchment and ink around here before you la around here to last you. All right, it couldn't hurt. I'll make a new one then. Use it keep track of your movements. If you ever start to get cloudy on important things like who you are, or more importantly, who I am, use it to refresh your memory. Oh wow, he has both a quest log and like an actual journal. He could search to- wow, this is incredible. He's just, he's just a funny little guy. Oh, Mort, Mort, where are you going? Mort, keep up with me. What, what are you doing? Okay. Done. Pause. Ah, oh, there we go. What did I just say? What? Okay. Dated my journal. I'm gone. There we go. I like that. Heck. 
Ow. I have a feeling you're going to be pissed when I talk to you, but hi there. Who are you? The scribe looks very old. His skin is wrinkled and is, has a slight trace of yellow. Like old parchment. Darkle gray eyes lie with an angular face, and a large white beard flows down the, ro the front of his robes like a waterfall. His breathing is ragged and regular, and he even has occasional copy. Does not slow down the scratching of his quill, quill pen. Hello. Hello, chief. That's just the same Mort voice. I was trying to do an old man. I was, I was kind of going for the town of no-name guy. Whoa, chief. What are you doing? I was going to speak with... Oh, wait, it is Mort. I thought it was the guy. Never mind. Whoa, chief. What are you doing? I was going to speak with the scribe. You might know something about how I got here. Look. Riding your bone box with Dusty should be the last thing. What more he can finish his rant? The scribes begin coughing violently. After a moment or two, the coughing spell dies down, and the scribes begin to resume its ragged release. And we especially shouldn't be swapping the chant with sick Dusties. Come on, let's leave. The quicker we get out of this place, the better. What more can finish? The scribe gray eyes flick at you. The weight of years hang heavy upon me, restless one. He places down his quill. But I do not yet count deafness among my ailments. Restless one, do you know me? Know you? I. There's a trace of bitterness in the scribe's voice as he speaks. I have never known you, restless one. No more than you have known yourself. He is silent for a moment. For you have forgotten, have you not? Who are you? As always, the question. And the wrong question, as always. He bows slightly, but the movement suddenly sends him into a bout of coughing. I. He pauses for a moment to catch his breath. I am Dal. Perhaps you can answer some questions for me, Dal. Updated my journal. Very well. What do you wish to know? What is this place? You are in the Monterey, restless one. Again, you have come. <coughs> this is the writing room. For those about to depart the shadow of life. Restless one? What's just as good of a term as any? Thou draws a ragged breath. Something keeps you here, does it not? Something that must be resolved. Some passion that must be quenched before you can reach the true death. True death? True death is non existence. A state of devoid of reason, sensation, of passion. Thou coughs, then gives a ragged breath. State of purity. That sounds like oblivion. Why would anyone want that? Is it worse than remaining in the shadow of what life once was? I think not. I see. I had some other questions. Can you tell me how to get out of here? The front gate is the most obvious exit, but they will not let anyone other than just men pass through. That breaks into a ragged cop and continues. One of the guides by the front gate has a key to it, but it is unlikely he'll open it for you unless you are extremely persuasive. You know who I am? My journal. I know scant little of you, restless one. I know little of those that have journeyed with you, and who now lie in our keeping. I ask that you no longer ask others to join with you, restless one. Where you walk, go walk smoothly. Let your burdens be your own. Are those people joining with me? They are here? Updated my journal. You not know the woman's corpse entered in the memorial hall below? I thought that she had traveled with you in the past. That looks like he's about to start coughing again and catches his break. Breath. Am I naked? Where is her body? Northwest Memorial Hall. Mayhap that will revive your memory. Who else is here? Doubtless there are, but I know not their names, not where they lie. One such as, you left a path many have walked, and few have survived. All dead come here. Some must have traveled a few once. Now, Dale, are you not well? I am now close to the true death, restless one. It will not be long before I pass beyond the eternal boundary and find the peace I have been seeking. I tire of this mortal spear. Dal gives a ragged sigh. The plains held no more wonders for 
one such as I. Are you sorry? There might be somewhere I could help you. I do not wish to live forever, nor live again, restless one. I could not bear it. What do you do? I am a scribe, a cataloger of the shells that come at, that come to here. As long as the stream of corpses flow through the mortuary, I shall remain at my post. They have been here more than once. How is it that the dustmen do not recognize me? Updated my journal. I am the one who catalogs the shells that come into our halls, restless one. Only I see the faces of those that lie upon our slabs. The dark of your existence lies safe with me. Seems I owe you a pharaoh. Farewell, Da. As he turns over to leave, Tao speaks. Know this. I do not envy you, restless one. If you were born as you, would be a curse that I could not bear. You must come to terms with it at some point. Your path will return you here. It is the way of all things flesh and bone. And perhaps we will meet again, Thal. Oh man, that's a lot of paths. I like this one the most. Maybe, it, never mind, I don't think it. I actually like this one. A van. You see a slight young woman with pale features. Sunken flesh around her cheeks and neck makes her appear as though she is starving. She seems intent on dissecting the corpse in front of her, prodding the chest with her finger. Greetings. The woman does not respond. She seems too intent on the body in front of her. If you watch her work, you suddenly notice her hands. Fingers are tylons. They are darting in and out of the corpse's chest like knives, moving organs. Hands. Makes Updated no response. My journal. And she's a tiefling, chief. They got fiend blood in their veins, usually. Because some ancestors of theirs shared knickers with one demon or another. Makes some of them addled in the head. Addled looking, too. Her alone. Oh, God. I feel like we're going in a circle. Perhaps. Oh, that one's fresh. Locked, you need a key. Okay.
Ooh. That's probably not even a health potion. I just went ooh for random fluids. Ooh, man. But flow. All right. Sparkle charm. Skeletal working. The skeleton, number 7848, according to the number chapel above its trail, is odd only in that some of its teeth appear to be false ones made of a reddish brown stone. They're clearly not valuable, however. Caretakers would have otherwise removed them. Well, this Greybeard wouldn't mind if I borrowed his body. Greybeard? Well, I don't think he's in any possession to object. Oh, wait. That's not. That's Greybeard. You know, geezer, old foe, yell dog, old. Well, I don't think he's in any position to object. Why not take his body? Won't study the skeleton for more than shake his head. Nah, I need a fresher one than this. It's something with a little more dignity. This one's all creaky and fractured. You're not. Oh, you're a sack full of laughs, he glares at you. Besides, you're one to talk, Burke. Mirrors beg for mercy when you're around. Oh yeah, at least I have all my parts. <laughs> you're not quite sure how he managed it without lungs. I'll have you know that helping you escape the preparation room has now been added to my growing list of regrets. Moist oh, snorts again. I should have let you rot. The more, that is. How do you feel that way? Let's go. Nice. Oh, it's a dustman. Uh oh, that's a, a dustman. Um. Eh, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hi. No? You are not lost. What is your business here? I'm here to see someone. Who are you here to see? I'm here. Uh. Adam. I'm here to see Doll. Um. The work here, or, uh. That name is not familiar with me. Check for one of the guys at the front gate. They may be able to direct you better than I. Very well, I will do that. Very well. Just my nods. No return to his duty. See, that's why we put in Charisma stat. Another adjustment. We're gonna lie our way down here. Twist chat. Fight. Pain is locked. Thought Tron. Taking all this. I'm sure it'll be useful somewhere. Ooh, that's been important. That seemed important. What's this? Okay. I'll know if I can. I read this. There we go. Then it's penned a series of tasks in red ink on the scrap apartment. I'd like the contracted workers to be inspected twice daily at the end of each workday. Yeah, this is a little. I'll read it later. Maybe I don't know. I'm sure that I could use it in some tactical way to uh, escape this place, but I'm not going big brain yet. I escaped from this place. Look, no one ever saw me. The door is locked, okay. What? No. And here they're gonna use the same lie. Uh, just lying to everyone in this room. Won't you? Seat new, Chief. Uh, what do you need, Chief? 
Hey, hey, key. Got this one out. Uh, what? Yes. Heck yeah. Let's see what's in here. That leads back down. Hammer! Increasing damage. One to six crushing damage. Oh wait, this is my room. We're almost out of here, Mort. Oh. I am probably better. Oh, it's a furnace. Oh, hi, Dust Man. I'm putting this paper on. Room room. There we go. Hello. Get out of my way, zombie. Oh, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh. Okay, I've come to the conclusion there is no escape. <laughs>
Try talking to the team. Huh? Might be the way. Balcony. Weird. He doesn't seem to have heard you. She leans forward, squinting, as if she can't quite make you out. Whatever is wrong with her, wrong with her eyes, must make her terribly nearsighted. You. She clacks her talon fingers together, then makes a strange motion with her hands. Find thread and embalming you. Bring here, to Aveline. Go, go, go. Updated my. Here I have it. Yo. Experience. Without missing a beat, she snaps the thread from your hands and hooks it around her under her talons, and begins sewing up the tr corpse's chest. She takes the embalming fluid and begins applying a, a layer to the corpse. In minutes, she is finished. She clicks her talons, then turns to face you. To your surprise, she tends her hands out and drags her talons along your arms and chest. Uh, it's not that I'm flattered, but... It's like I have a new friend, Chief. You two, you two need some time together, or... Oh, wait, Mort. As she traces your arms and chest, you su you know you suddenly know she seems to be examining your scars. She draws her talons, looks them twice, then bends forward and examines some of the tattoos on your chest. Hmm. Who right on you? Evers do that. No exact for zombies. Zombies not paid things. These nips. Then pokes one of your scars. This one's bad shape. Many scars, no purse sips. Wait, the talons suddenly hook into the thread you brought her. In lightning like, she jabs another talon into the skin near one of your scars. It feels barely more than a pinprick, but it looks like she's about to start stitching you up. Let her work. Updated my journal. This is scarcely painless as Elvin begins to stitch up your scars. When she is done, she snips you rounds, then stabs her finger into the embalming fluid. Then she has dabbed your body with the fluid, and strangely enough, it makes you feel better. Maybe the second time in my life I'm thankful I don't have a nose. I'll be puts the last touches on your body, gives you another sniff, nods, and then go makes a shooing motion with her talents. Done. Go. Go. Updated my journal. Uh oh. How do we get out of here? Oh, how did I get here? No, I had some other questions. No. Hmm, the front gate.
Let's get it. Go up. You can make it. Gotta be out of here. I'm gone. Okay, bye. Yes. Wait. Uh-oh. That wasn't a good idea, huh? Oh, there's a down way. Right here. What were we thinking? I just let them catch me for no reason. Ah! <laughs> so much for exploration. Maybe I'll stop if I'm... Ah. Ah. We can fight him. Get him. Yeah, wait, no, this is good. This goes back up. Oh, damn, this music jams. Uh oh, that's probably not good. Uh oh. Ow, critical. Oh, that just loops me back around. Uh, there's a lot of guys here. Uh oh. What is this? A crescent hatchet. Really wish I didn't do that. Uh, might as well take these stairs. Only way I see. I expect it'll just raise me up though. Yeah. There is no escape. We're trapped. Uh oh. Um. You got anything to say about this? You, Chief. What's he me? Uh, the fact that we're being killed by all these monsters. Go for the kill. I've made I've made some mistakes in my time. I can admit that.
Oh, I wish the way out was more obvious. Not looking too hot. Oh, there it is. Well, that really should have been a lot more obvious. I will need a key. Uh, okay, then. Take that. Do it. Get him. Please. Hurry. Did you see that? Nice. Okay. Please have a key, one of you. Jagged knife, copper commons, dustman rubs. Wait, dustman rubs. New idea. Watch this, you guys. I'm gonna put these on, and no one's gonna know a thing. Look, I am the dustman. Don't mistake me. He, leave. We gotta get out of here. All right. Up, oh, up. Oh, we're in F and B mode, apparently. All right. Thanks. They cannot remaster that part or this part. Actually, this no, because this one's in full screen though. Oh, disguise! Oh. Take off my disguise, bro. It looks so cool. So many Pharaoh. Do you know? Pharaoh is a collector. If you wish to know more of him, I am told that the infamous Akramark in the de Gathering Dust Bar also seeks him. Maybe that way is can help you. Where is the guard? As one leaves the Monterey Gate, head south and west. It lies past the memorial. South and west. Okay. Pox. Hey there, chicken pox. Can I call you chicken pox? Hi? Hi? Ox, am I? Hi! Uh... Ox? Mother and father named me. Wished a pox on firstborn. A curse given. Came true or did. Hi. Again, your eyes are drawn to the purplish green grass covering pox's chin and neck. Oh. I had some more questions for you. Hi? What are you doing? Wait for the tenders, do I? Hi. Debtors? Corpses? Why? Why, debtor? 
take him to the gate, get some junk, then I again I wait. Hi. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're in a big town now, huh? In the sender, you seem cool. Hey there, what's your deal? You're yeah, a heavy set man with sharp features and a pained expression. Despite his huge frame, however, he has an effeminate look about him, and unlike the other residents you've seen, he looks to have bathed recently. As he approached, he looks up hopefully and calls out a high voice. Better, good sir! What? Eh. His helpful expression dies as he studies your face. A thousand apologies, good sir. I have been given offense. He gives a slight bow. I am Bane, the Sender, the third child of Dabin, the Sender. I am one of the many runners in the employment of House the Senders. No need to open up. No apologies necessary, Bane. What do you want? A thousand apologies for troubling you with such a travel money matter. For I see Craddock, an overseer of the Hive. Bane looks like he is in pain. Alas, he eludes me. He looks at you hopefully again. Could it be you have heard of such a man? Sorry, I haven't. <sighs> I am bound to deliver a message to him, and as fortune has chosen now to favor me. I could help you. If I come the man. If I come across the man, I could pass the lot message along. Ban's face lights up like a lantern. Oh fortunate day for Ban and House of Senders. Any assistance you could provide would be most welcome. Find his craddock and pass along the message. I shall see it to you you are paid for your troubles. Alright, what's the message? He recites the message almost like a mantra. The shipments must be encrusted by the third day, or there will be a penalty. I am told the Craddock will know of the shipment to which the message pertains. I'll pass it along if I see him. Is there anything you can tell me about him before I go that might help me find him? Sorry, that was my chair. Moving around in it. He is said to be a giant of a man. Stern of features. That he is an overseer of the hive of marketplaces. Alas, I know little else than that, good sir. I see, that's enough to go on for now. Thank you, sir. Good fortune favor you, and you are able to bear the message to Craddock. Be so kind, and test to return the message to me. I will see it to your efforts that you are rewarded. Very well, very well, Bane. Updated my journal. Seeing you, Chief. How did you die, Mort? No idea, Chief. I kind of forgot when I died. Can't say I blame myself much. At least there was someone waiting for me after I died, even if it's just life as a flowing school. I mean, it could have been worse. What happened to your body? Eh, I don't know, alright? It's just gone. But I think, but I don't think I miss it. I'm happy just the way I am. I don't need your half wit judgments or snide remarks. See. Well, here's how I see things. Go on. I think you should try and root out with this pharaoh or whatever. He set up Kip. You wouldn't have had those directions tattooed on your back if you didn't have some inkling of what was up with you. One of the locals around here has to know where he is. Good point. I had some other questions. Tell me a little about Sigil. Sigil's a ring-shaped city, but squatting on top of an infinitely tall spire and somewhat in what some claim to be the center of the plains. Of course, how it could be at the top of an indefinitely tall spire and how the city could even be at the center of the plains raises some questions. Anything else? It's called the City of Doors, mostly because there's a lot of invisible doors that lead it in and out of it. Just about any arch, door frame, barrel, hoop, bookshelf, or open window might be a portal under the right conditions. It all depends on if you have the key to open it. Keys. Key. I guess the best way to explain it is, most portals are sleeping, right? You could walk through them, by them, on top of them, and nothing would happen. Now, every portal has something that wakes it up. That could be a tune you hum to yourself, a loaf of weak old bitopian bread, 
remembering what your first kiss was like, and then BAM! The portal gets its juices flowing, and you can jump through it. Whatever's on the other side. Like where? Anywhere, Chief. Literally. Any place you can think of, there's a portal there. That's why Sigil's so popular across the plains. Ooh, this 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 is a bomb. Yeah, I'm gonna walk outside this random house. Seems like a good place to start my search. Who are you? Excuse me, are you alright? Me? She seems surprised. Oh, hi, hi. She lowers her voice. You'd best leave. Me and my husband has not been himself of late. You'd best not provoke him with your presence. What's wrong with him? He's been out of sorts of late. A touch of the cough, maybe. He gives an unconvincingly half shrug. What's really wrong with him? I think. I think he's done something he regrets. Her worry expression melts into despair. I think he signed one of the dead contracts. I cannot imagine what possessed him to do such a foolish thing. Dead contracts. The dead. Oh, hello. Welcome to chat. Uh, I'm- This looks really good right now. Like... Like, this is- I don't know. <laughs> uh, hold on. Like, I'm really impressed so far. By, like, the writing and stuff. And, like, the world that they've set up. I'm curious to see how this goes. Going good, basically. The, the dead, the dustmen, have contracts that give them the right to someone's body after they die. Well, the dustmen do- Well, I know the answer to this. They take the body, but you know. Animate with their black magics. Turn it into one of the walking dead. Make it a worker till... Till it walks so rots away. Why would your husband sign such a thing? He may have been a goat eager to bring home some more jink than custom. He's prideful, or I think he's hurt himself by doing so. Can this contract be undone? He looks like he's surprised, then sighs. I've tried. I've spoken with the dustman till he, he did the sign with, but he's cold and chill, like all the dusties. He even lectured me on the on me husband, as if I had no right to try and help him. The lips become tight, thin line, as if picturing the dustman's face. He is cruel. Cruel he was. Let me see what I can do. Who was the dustman who signed the contract with? The dusty called himself Gravesend. I know not his first name. He was at a table at the dustman bar in the hive, gathering dust. I believe the place is named. You can most likely find him there, trying to get more people to sign his contracts. Take him out. Where is this Gust Allen bar? Dated my journal. Head out to the street outside. Go to the memorial stone. Then head south and west from there. Caps a finger and chin. He should be able to run into it. It's one of them. Face wrinkles in disgust. Walking corpses out front. I won't turn away such a friendly gesture. She seems grateful. Yeah, I, I that was like the one negative thing I saw on all the Steam store pages about the uh, the combat. Which I haven't, like, you know, I just started, so combat's pretty much just click on the guy, and if you have to heal, heal. But, I mean, I didn't think it was too bad, but I haven't gotten to, like, the whole, you have, like, six party members, and you have to pause and manage them. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I like strategy stuff, so, even if it's not the greatest, I'll have fun with it, I hope. I won't turn away such a friendly jester. 
She seems grateful. Then a warrior express in returns. But I asked ask you to not let on to what I asked. But I must ask ye not to let on to what I asked you to do such a thing. My husband has a terrible temple. If he were to find out, she shudders. I promise that your husband will not find out. Thank you, stranger. I appreciate your help. It's no trouble. I'll go about undoing your husband's contract now. Alright. Yeah, let's do this. Right. That seems good. Where's the exit? I'm gone. Okay. I think I I assume I didn't go west enough. I didn't see any memorial looking Oh wait, is this it? I can't tell. This might be the memorial. This seems a lot like it. Far? Maybe. I think there's a zombie outside of it, so I guess I'll see. Yeah? I call. <laughs> okay then. You see a striking redhead girl dressed in leather armor. Her eye is carved with a series of interlocking plates that look as if she was taken from the skin of some other creature. And a horned shoulder piece pro protects her left arm. Oddly up, she has a tail that is flicking back and forth as you watch. Pack off! Greetings. She ignores you. Who are you? She sneers, then makes an obscene gesture of her tail. Pack off, you clearless sod! Hey, I just had some questions. Come on. I? And what is it you wanted? Can you tell me where I am? You're lost. But you're about to find trouble. Make your last somewhere else, Bubba. I, I had some other questions I wanted to ask. I'm missing a journal. Have you seen one? He looks at you. Nay, I haven't seen nothing like that, I haven't. Alright. I can't help but notice that you have a tail. Do I now? She looks at her tail. So I do! And here I was thinking that it was the trick of me eye. My, aren't you such a shark clever? He bars the teeth. Why don't you piss off to whatever hell you crawled out of and leave me be? More... <laughs> me nor me tell us up for the trade jig. Oh, I was just curious. It's just as well neither of you... It's just as well neither you nor your tail surf sail. We couldn't squeak out a living of it anyway. What, what are you doing? What are you about, you blader? Say it again. He said he, that you weren't. <laughs> Forget him, I had some other questions. Bar that, I have nothing more to say to you, Berg. Get. Fine. Screw you. What, what an obscene gesture of it. I don't know. I mean. I. Gracefully swaying it back and forth. That's what my obscene gesture would be like. Watch, Chief. Just look natural. Uh, casual. Yeah. I see you, Chief. All right, talk to him. I. It seems like it. Yeah. I. I think this is the bar. This filthy-looking corpse is in sad shape. Its shoulders are slumped, and one of its legs is broken, causing it to lean to one side. Stains cover it from head to toe. Judging from the smell and the texture, stains run from rotten fruit to mud and bird droppings. Back to the indignities, graffiti has been carved into its body, and several notices have been nailed into his chest and back head. I thought I was in bad shape. Did all the, don't all those nails hurt? The corpse makes no response. Damn the graffiti. Oh god, he's a living bulletin board. A number of leaflets have been ruined by rain. But well, some of them are still legible. One to the back is something called the Office of Vermin and Disease Control. The one on his forehead looks like a bill of fare for a restaurant. One on his chest looks like an official notice, and it appears to be some sort of ad. Damn the bill of fare. I don't have a bill of fare for the Gathering Dust Bar. But the bill of fare cannot be read, as the words Smoldering Corpse Bar have been scrawled on charcoal all over. Smoldering Corpse Bar? Zombie immediately jerks its left arm upwards and points towards the south, points far to the southeast. A moment later, the arm falls back to its side with a thump. Yeah, it reminds me of a job I once had. He seems embarrassed. Well, I mean, without the arms. Hmm. 
I wonder if this would work with the other notices. Damn the corpse. Despite the many stitches, the corpse's rotting skin is peeling in several places, revealing long stretches of muscle and bone. You would guess that the zombie is frequently used as a target practice. Oh no. The fruit and mud stains aside, some of the tears in the skin still have rocks and bits of glass lodged in them. One wicked looking cobblestone is still embedded in the side of its head. Okay, let's go in here. Seems pretty much like it would be it. Yeah, here we are. Let's say we just give this place the lap, all right? No, we have to. Hey, what's eating you, Chief? Why? No, we're not gonna leave this place, more. We gotta, we gotta help this person. Oh, it's you. Your gravesend, I think. This tiny wizard man is dwarfed by his huge dustman wolves. They look as if they are chosen to cloak his small tech stature. Although he looks as to be in his late nineties, this man is extremely energetic. He fidgets continuously, and his eyes dart around the bars like a bird's. Hey there. He gleams as he takes your measure, and he gives a slight nod in greeting. Hail and well met, traveler. You look like one of the ones... You look like one who is just getting his sigil legs about them. Pardon me, have we met before? You seem familiar to him somehow. I don't know, possibly. Are you certain it was me? Hmm. Maybe I was mistaken. Want to shake his head? Well, no matter. How is it that I, Morph Gravesend, may help you? You seek. He clutches his tongue as he speaks. The contract, perhaps? Morty Gravesend, are you the dustman who signed the contract with the anger? He frowns. He looks powerful. Mayhaps. He thinks for a moment. Better put more points. I thought I put a lot of points into charisma, I think. Hold on. Friendly. No, I can't do it right now. Hold on. Perhaps. He thinks for a moment. Well, oh. What he nods. Hmm. Something wrong? Look at me. I must ask. Again. Are you possibly sure we haven't met before? Possibly. I do not recall you. Hmm. No matter. Hold on. Yes, hold on. Okay, I just wanted to look at my stats. Uh, where are they? Statistics, there. Yeah, I put 15 in. Although, I guess, I don't know how good my stats are. I was just kind of going off D&D. Tried to go for... Maybe I should have gone for something really good, but I don't know. Alright, let's try talking. I would like to settle that contract. He looks wary. I'm afraid that is impossible. The contract is signed, settled, and binding. Oh, <laughs> you didn't know? <laughs> anyway, Mordor looks wary. I'm afraid that is impossible. The contract is. Oh, I already said that. Anyway. The contract is tearing the man's life apart, it is causing him distress, it is possible that he may be able to approach the true death with such emotions churning in his mind. Mori chews it over for a moment. Looks like you've negotiated him into a corner. I cannot. It is a matter of law, my friend. Besides, the burden lies upon the signer to overcome his own feelings in order to reach the true death. I cannot help. So what you're saying is that you'll deny him the true death for the sake of a piece of parchment? Well, it sighs and it holds his hands as if to placate you. Look, it is not how you are making it out to be. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going all in. You obviously hold the philosophy of the adjustment in contempt to your to damn a man's soul over a piece of paper. Do other members of your faction know of the contracts in this regard? If not, they soon will. Mort glares at you. For a moment, opens his mouth, closes it, then opens it. By the nine hells, wait here. He drops his voice to a whisper. And keep your bone box lashed. He gives an angry scowl and stomps off. 
Wait a bit. Three moments later, he returns. He's holding a dusty piece of parchment, which he gives to you. Here. He sniffs disdainfully. All for a man's peace of mind. Now be gone, and that'll make up your parchments. Your, with your preachings no longer. I will leave, for now. Farewell, Mortai. <laughs> Easy. Wait, I'm pretty sure I did that because of the Charisma Act, actually. This way, let me check my journal. I'm pretty sure I also had to go here for the, uh, other thing. Quest. Find film. What read me the directions and right. Okay, I gotta find Craddock still. I did this. Yeah, so now you gotta just go take contract back. I'm not sure if there's anything else. I'll just go do that first and then I'll come back here. I look lost, sir? Maybe. Well, since I look lost, I guess I can talk with you first. A yeah, heavy dressed man with dark skin and grim features. He is dressed in dustman robes and is regarding you with a stony grace. Greetings. You have the look of a lost one. The man's voice is like stone settling. Did the wind send you? Or are you here of purpose? Who are you? I am Mork. Factome and initiate of the fourth circle. Is this your bar? If you measure ownership in copper, this is not my establishment. If you measure all the shit, it's spirit, it is mine. He pauses, trying to emphasize a point. The adjustment here are my students. They are under my protection. Can I ask you some questions? He waits. I would like to join the Dustman faction. No. I'm searching for a man Farad. Have you seen him? I know why you'd like to seek the Collector Farad. Collector? Collectors gather the dead and bring them to us. I'd like to know why you seek this collector. I wish to speak with him. As do I. He has made such a thing difficult. Speak through other men. Fall silent for a moment. When two men speak through other men, little is said, and much is lost. Why well, does Pharaoh not want to talk to others? That, the why, is unclear. He is a man who hides from others and hides his reasons. Why do you want to know my business with him? The Collector Farad has brought many corpses to the Monetary of, light, of late. One must ask where these bodies are from. Look, whatever's between you two is your business. I just want to know where he is. It is not known to me where the Collector is. He hides from the eyes of the Dustman, and I'd like to seek other Collectors and ask them your questions. Very well, I had some other questions. Actually, I don't have any questions. I lied. I don't think he's in here, then. I think I had to keep looking down. I don't know if that was actually... The... I want to talk to uh, whatever her face was again, and also I need to deliver the contract. Alright, head back on. Alright. I got good news. Your husband has been freed. Were you able? Yes. I was able to get the contract from Mortai. Here it is. He looks relieved, and his eyes become misty. Oh, by the powers. You must be a diva in disguise to do such a thing for someone you barely knew. Give her the contract. Updated my journal. No, no. If you could show me husband the contract, say that you got him for her, for him, but don't say how. I'd appreciate it. Very well, I'll show it to him. Now I could ex extort these people for money, but I'll be nice. This man looks haunted. His eyes are half-lidded, and it's, it's, as, it's as if he is trouble sleeping, and his hair is long and unkempt. His beard is flecked with bits of dead skin and old bits of food. He doesn't seem to notice you as you approach. He glances up at the sound of your voice, and his slack expression vanishes. It looks like someone has lit two fires in his eyes. What be your business bargain into my house? Barging into my house. 
His eyes narrow as Cleet's deep glance. Get, or I'll send you back to whatever grade you crawled from. Tell him the contract. As he pulled out the contract, the blood drains out of the Iron Grin's face. For a moment, he seems at a lost words, then his temper quickly resurfaces. Where did you get that? By the powers, you'd best tell me. Tear up the contract. Updated my journal. We tear up the parchment, and there is Reed's fly eyes follow the bits of paper as they float to the ground with a desperate look. He shudders slightly, then strains, as if a great weight was lifted from him. He, he looks like he's about to thank you, then stops and shares out specifically. Nothing's three, not in the hive cutter. Hmm. Okay, so this one's more useful, right? But this one is like badass. Expect a lot of rules to change while I'm around here. So this free. Expect a lot of rules to change while I'm around here. Seven hundred fifty. Expression crumbles. He looks tired of fighting for his tired of fighting his good fortune. I I must have prayed to the last powers for the past half month. He had me fakes cutter. Whatever that's worth. Actually, perhaps he can help me. I have some questions. He yes, asks you questions. Look for a man named Pharaoh. Do you know where I've lost him? I mean, where I can find him? Ah, uh, that name be known to me. And not a fond name it is either. This is a. What's that one Shenmu quote where it's just like, Can you tell me where fishermen's gather? <laughs> Fucking me. Oh, wait, no, it's sailors. Can you tell me where to find some sailors? Can you tell me where to find him? Oh, wait, what can you tell me about him? He's one of the collectors. Like one with a long shadow. That's quite a few boys as Beck and Call. He may not be the lord of the realm, but he's not a smart one to tangle with lorders, no. Do you know where I can find him? Aye, but I wouldn't be doing you a favor telling it. The, uh, his frown deepens. What I'd be killing fell into a, into a lot of his months back and spilled some of his dark old forehead. To hear tell, Pharaoh's actually got his kit buried somewhere under Rag Pirate Piker Square. To get into it, there's some kind of portal you need to jump through while carrying some junk in your hand. Ooh, so I gotta go through a portal. Where is Rag Piker Square? It's a few blocks from here. Go straight west from the Mottari Gate. Keep going until you start seeing trash and rags piled up everywhere. You do your best to be careful walk around there. The collectors there don't always wait for a body to die before collecting the corpse, you hear? Thanks for the information. Farewell. Okay, so that helps. Can I join up with that? Okay, well, just keep in mind. It's a pile of trash west from the Monterey. Okay. Well, how long have you been going? Oh, Alright, uh, I have to be right back. Then go get water and then continue this. So, hold on. Going out here. Yeah. Alright, I'll play some music. Let's do this. All right, I'll be right back.
All right, back. Let's get back to it. All right. Done. So I'm gonna go back to talk with that one girl again, and then we'll go look for the guy. I got water and some yogurt. Done. Get this kid. I'm looking for someone at the Pharaoh. Do you know where I can find him? I, I might. I might say more if you sweeten the t questions, I. You click your tons. Jink, jink, I. Jink, jink. She means money. Oh. I. He glances at Morton's drugs. But the cool. Oh. A oh, Mort said that one. I. Skull said. I'd corn. All right. How much? How much is it to you to know, eh? Because he's unfolding your arm. Come on. I haven't gone gone in all day. I haven't. I don't think I have enough interest to you. I piss off then. What Well, what a big jump. I've had enough of your lip girl. Time for you to die. I sh dude! Okay, I think I've asked her everything then. The only thing left to do is to, uh, fucking fight her, which is, that's kind of funny. So, I assume west would be this way. Do it. So, here we go. Yeah. Who drop the weights, you know that? Done. Oh, okay, there's more. I have still. I'm gone. Oh, you. One copper gets me directions. Help, please. Greetings, Cutter. Only a single copper for your services is a trout. Where can I lead you, sir? What's a tout? A guide, Cutter. I point you out to where you need to round this part of the hive. Alright, here's a copper piece. The man palms the coin and bows. This part of the hive. This gates has gates leading east, north, and southwest. Locations of note include the flop house where your blood can get some west. Southwest gate lead. Just on an old part of the hut cutter. Leaving. Hold on. I might be lost again. What's the flop house? <laughs> I will never flop. Right in the middle of this part of the hive, Cutter. Long, narrow building whose doors face southeast. Good place to call it Kip for a night if you're feeling beat. That's the north gate lead. Rag picker square. Oh, wait, rag picker. I think. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Okay, so head north. Thank you. Alright. I like all the sound effects with the people talking in the crowd. Really memorable. All right, here we are. Done. This man is draped in filthy, tattered brown robes, long coat concealing most of his face from view. Greetings. His eyes narrow beneath his hood, and he takes a step back. What do you want? What are you doing? What is this place? Doing? I'm looking for some damned bodies is what I'm trying to do. But you think the dead powers had packed up their kip and left the plains? The way people are staying healthy and all. <laughs> These people! We could really use a plague right about now! Sudden gleam his eye. We had a pox last month, and it was a glorious time. Those bodies stinking it to high heavens, and plenty of junk to be had too. What is this place? Fancy you. You're in the hive, of course. Glorious bit of all sigil. Where are you from, Cutter? You from Prime or something? No, I had some questions. I'm looking for a man named Pharaoh. Look around you, Cutter. I don't make enough junk jink to 
We go lighting up the dark for nothing. I'll take a bit of coin, it will. If you want the chance. Never mind, then. I can find it on my own. I have limited currency, so I will not be giving you any. Got yeah, anything new to say? No, more. No, it doesn't really look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same. He said. Said that already. Yellow fingers. Up with you. Easy looking fellow skulking about the garbage like a tired shadow. Thing you more than beckons to you. Yes, I. The skull. Where you get the skull, eh? You skull it is. You're back to me. Boy turns to the hyper. Hack off! <laughs> that was kind of a combination of their two voices. Truth! Go on and take the skull! This is not your skull. Call me a liar, eh? Skull's mine! Mine! He mumbles for a moment, rolling into an He the thief spin lies. I'll get you. I wouldn't try it. The man glances at you. Eyes narrow. Suddenly he attacks. Me his attack. Let's get him. I'm murdering a man in the street. Whistles merrily. Dead. Hey, that's a lot of copper. Worth it. And a bracelet. I can probably put that on. Okay. He's a dead man now. Put this on. Yeah, this should... Oh, it's just... It's just with money. Okay. Well, whenever I find a shop, I'll keep that in mind. Does that have any stats to it? Oh, it's only usable there. That's kind of lame. Oh well. Well, I have a lot of money now. I could probably pay some to that guy if I wanted to know. Actually, yeah. Let's just do that. Where is he? There he is. Wait. Um. I'm gonna assume it's you. Uh, microphone name of Farad. Throw him five copper. Yes. I'm looking for a man. You seem suddenly worried. You know where he is. I know where the bath bastard isn't. He ain't where most collectors call Kip. But that's where. But that he's close by. There's somewhere in this. Eh. Oh, well, I killed that line, huh? I know where the rat bastard isn't. He ain't where most of the collectors call Kip in Ragpicker Square, but that he's close by there. Someone's the chant. All you? All collector shares? Bird. <laughs> he spits, sneering contemptly. Ragpicker Square is his share gravers, me boss's territory. Bird and his dogs came in a while back and tried to oust us. We fought him off. We did. So they're all in hiding somewhere now. We still catch one of his lads now and then, around the square. Usually turn him into a quick spot of jink at the pike at the monetary. Pike and sods. Tell me about Scaregrave. He's me boss. Cast his shadow over the whole mess of collectors. I'd stay away from him unless you got rights. Good cause to talk to the man. I've never spoken with him personally. Or fair, I think I already, yeah, I already asked him that. I'm also looking for a general I lost. He shakes his head, puzzled. Yep, okay, thanks, man. Tell me about the collectors. Aye. We make our living by dragging debtors off Sigil's fair streets and haul them into lead bottom arses into the monetary. Not the best way to earn a living, but it's a start. That's all you want to know, you cutter. That's all I wish to know. Very well. Alright, so that didn't really help. He's not here. Although I think the boss guy is back in the bar, so I could probably try asking him again and actually get somewhere. I'm gonna keep looking around here since I'm here. Oh wow, it's already four. I wonder how the time works. 
Oh, it's definitely there's a rest button somewhere around here. Rest button, yeah, so I can just see that probably. Listen, it's not murdering the general population. That guy tried to take my skull friend from me, so I just said, Hey man, you can't do that. I have to keep you safe. So I killed him, and I got a sick bracelet and a lot of money from him. So I think it was a pretty worthwhile trade, if you think about it. Not murder, trade. It's very important how you frame these things. Oh, so this body's not even here anymore. See, it's, no one, no one care. Oh god, this body's not here probably because someone took it. <laughs> Man, it's whistling a cheerful tune. I'm playing with a vile cap fighting knight. You approach him. He stops whistling and gives you a curious look. Hmm? What do you want? I had some questions. Do you know where to find sailors? My name's Ratbone Cutter. I'm a thief for hire and the employer of Sharegrave, the boss of the collectors you see around the square. He pays me mostly to learn his ta his lads to be real quiet-like. I have to fight if they run into a spot of trouble. That's likely the only questions I'll answer for you, Cutter. I'm looking for a man named Farrowed. Do you know where he is? Nay, I don't. Here's nearby, though. Some of his lads come run through here, at times, making for some hidery hole. That's who knows where. Somewhere up those around those elevated platforms, I'll bet. Let's well, none of me business, drugs. Then let live, said Ratbone. Where's your boss? They're great. Okay, I felt the cop. Oh. He nods towards the large de dilapidated house. Oh, the guy's in there. Okay, that's helpful. Careful though, Cutter. He don't like visitors. He's right suspicious of everyone. Stairgrave is not even his real name. That's what me and some of his sellers call him. That's all I wish to know. Thanks. Okay, let's head on in. But it'd be funny if he just like, I saw you kill my guy outside. What? What are you doing? All right. I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, I'm Linky. This pale, grim-looking man exudes authority by his gangly and somewhat awkward frame. A good portion of his left ear is missing. What little that's left is a ragged mass of scar tissue, as if his ear was bitten off rather than cut. His narrow, shifting eyes, almost smear slits, look clever and dangerous. Greetings. He says out a reply. I don't know you, Buck. He glares at you. What do you want? Answer quick before I call in some men to make quick work of you. I, no, I, I had some questions. He's quiet for a moment, then not. That's so? Like what? I'm looking for a man named Farrard. The tension in the room suddenly rises. Now what a funny thing to be asking about. What do you know about the old blood Farrard for? He's a friend of mine. <laughs> He stole something from me, and I want it back. Probably best to lie, so that he, you know, thinks I'm on his side. Man, I sat for a moment, then cracks a snarl. He steals from us all, doesn't he? Well, he's living or dead. <laughs> what do you mean? My main source of living around here is the dead. You follow. You're a collector. Aye, uh, that's right. He looks at you, as if he's considering something. Now, there's only so many debtors at any one time. My bloods and I can only gather so many. If somebody else is gathering the debtors, that's much, that much less jink that goes into our pockets. He's taking bodies too? Aye. So... Updated my journal. The rub is that he's found a mother load of them. Now, I haven't heard of any massacres in Sigil. He frowns, tapping his chin. So I'm quite interested in knowing where all these debtors are coming from. I could find out for you. Like, oh, I. How would you do that? All I need to do is find him. Let me worry about the rest. Updated my journal. Hmm. Yeah. 
You got it. I'll even give you 100 copper commons for your trouble. Go up on the platforms, follow them north and west, and you'll come to a great, at least ferret's bolt hole. Bolt hole? Satchel? <laughs> Finger butt hole. Bolt hole. Get in, and getting the information is your deal. Anyone asks, you don't know me. And we never had this talk. Of course. Very well. Up north, the platforms. Okay, I was kind of heading that way on my own, actually. But then I decided to turn around and just talk to people. So it should be up this way. Right. The garage door leads in only inches into the small building before becoming blocked by a solid water wall of refuse. Whoever was packed so tightly, it may as well be stones and mortar. Updated my journal. Eh, hold up, Chief. Look at this. Turning down, you notice a number of dirty footprints that lead into the archway. Do not turn around. There must be a portal through here or something. Portal. Oh yeah, the guy in that house talked about this, I think. I want the slightest, Chief. It's got to be a common key, though. Look at all the traffic that's gone here through here. Maybe one of the low lights around here will know. Let me in! Let me in! Alright. I talked to one of the collectors. Probably not. Door over here, too. Hey, you. More money, I already paid money. I'm pretty sure it's just a repeat NPC. I don't want to wrongfully give you money. Binge you, my cash, I am. Oh, you have a name, so you must be important. As you approach the hood, brown road man, you notice that he's mumbling something to himself and occasionally nodding. Someone comes to speak with Nod. He speaks to Nod, eh? He suddenly breaks into a fit of hackling coughs, then nods back to himself. What are you doing? Nothing. Stop looking for debtors. Nothing. Oh, I was hoping you'd keep speaking in the third person. Nothing else. Need the jink. Jink, jink. Oh, wait. Oh my god, why is my... I just noticed this on my phone. Why is the stream at, like... The worst aspect ratio of all time. Is that just a glitch on my own thing? Oh, never mind. I think it was just a me problem. Because I'm using my phone so that I can, like, actually view it and read the chat. Okay, that was weird. For some reason, it was, like, super zoomed out. Okay, I think it's fine. Alright, I don't know what that was up with. That was happening for anyone else. Sorry. Okay, anyway, back to it. Uh... I have some questions. What? Jink. Yeah, hand him a couple of coins. Ah, jink, jink. Yes, not trust the answer. Oh, here's a question for me? Wow, what a plot twist. Not has a sister, I. I'm Marisa. Yeah, lives in the hive away from here. Away from the square. So long, long ago, Nod was separated from his sister, taken away. You've been separated and you'd like me to find her? My journal. You don't know her? He shakes his head sadly for a moment, chewing his lip lower lips. He sees her. He tells her. Tell her Nod, her brother, worries about her. He does. He worries. Why don't you go find her? No! Nod covers his head with his arm, mumbling to himself. Nod. Nod can't speak right no more. He can't nay. Uh, he smells the corpse and the dirt at the square. Ragpicker square. No. That both sends him into a fit of hacking coughs. What happened to you, Nod? 
Nod Smiths, looking at the gun currently. Finally begins nodding to himself, speaking slightly, softly. Nod was so gay. And he was starting to hear voices telling him, Nod, do this, do that. Bad things, like chewing on Nod's fingers. He holds his bait, hands to his face. And you can see old Bart scars beneath this caked on filth. Go on. So Nod's parents takes him away, they does. Puts him in a dark place, a wing tower, where they pokes needles and hooks in Nod's head. Voices stop, eh? They do. But Nod can't think right. Can't talk right. Nod escapes the place, he does. Wakes up in the hive, eh? Go on with your story. Nod wakes up. This collector's, eh? Collector's poking at Nod, saying, Look, not a debtor. Debtor he's not. Takes him back. Takes him back. And they takes Nod's back, they does. Back to the square. The long. Years, long years ago. Alright, I'll find your sister for you. Not thanks he does. Not thanks he. My sister's so pretty. So pretty. Lives in the hive now. Fair skin she was. Hair like jet and always blue. Blue. She was always in blue. Updated my journal. Alright. You know how to get through the trash packed archway northwest of here? My journal. Uh, nay, I don't say. That you could ask Creedon, the rat catcher. Sometimes he goes poking her out of there and disappears for an underwear. Creedon's usually in the hive, right outside the office of Vermin De Disease Control. Office of. Where's that? Found you. Back in the hive, Cutter. Find a tout if you need it, needs to. I'm gonna try asking Shea Gray before I go. Don't know if it'll work. Hey Shea Gray, I don't wanna go walk all the way there. Tell me, how do I get through? Not yet. Oh. Please. Can I go away? Gone. Bye! I'll be back. It's my. I hope I didn't like fail it. Well, it doesn't really matter if I fail the quest for him as long as I, uh, you know, complete the quest. Mm. Also, this comet. I no one's attacking me still. Uh, I'm sure I'll be good. I'm gonna walk on after here. This is a literal why do I hear combat music m moment. First impression Mar is that he needs a long bath, preferably away from any creature that has any sense of smell. You can almost see the stench waft from his body in sinister yellow tendrils. He motions towards you. Frantically, in an effort to get to you, he comes over. He motions towards you, frantically, in an effort to get you to come over and talk to him. A look of excitement crosses his face as you approach. Thank you for stopping. My name is Mar, and I have a favor to ask ye. I'm listening. The matter it's a tis a matter of life or death. I must be delivered in this but here box, or it be my head for sure. It's me bad luck that I twisted me legs somewhere something fierce. Will you help me out by delivering this here box for me? Sure, man. Mar slowly takes out a small box from within the recesses of his ragged clothing. For the beat for the briefest moments you see a look of regret cross his face. 
and is gone as he looks at you and hands you the box. Light shimmer surrounds the box as both you and Mars touch it. Sigh of relief. Good, as Mars releases the box to your care. What now? This box needs to be delivered to Kutra. It can usually be found somewhere somewhere down the southeastern part of the hive. Oh, unless you try to stay, I didn't warn you. Whatever happens, don't open the box. And don't leave the hive with the box. Now be off with you. Updated my journal. Oh, wait, he just ran off completely fine. I have a bad feeling about that. Oh, you. You help me. Tap, please. Now stop walking away from me. Come back. Here's a copper piece. Southwest gate. Okay, southwest gate leads to the office of the so south and west, so that way. Okay. That's how we get to the This it? Oh, I think this is it. It's it's literally right here. All right. Gotta find seize control. Is this it? This might be it. Try this place. Fruits from Elysium, like Disco Elysium, best game. All right, this is not a uh, disease control. This is just some random dwelling. Right. I'm gonna loot whatever's in here, though. Stolen. Yoink. Oh, she's literally fighting me. Help me! I'll, I'll kill you. Get him, more. <laughs> One hit. <laughs> okay. I had an excuse for killing the other guy, but that one was just murdering the general population, yeah. I, I don't have an excuse for that one, I just felt like doing it. <laughs> Daylight probably, yeah. Your tout, huh? Only one copper. This is gonna be like the biggest. Well, don't worry, cause I just got a bunch of cop copper from uh, robbing that place. Where's the office for vermin disease control? In the middle southern half of this area. The door faces southwards, so you just walk along the southernmost east-west road till you see it. Okay, let's keep going south, and eventually I'll see it. Might be it. Might be a bit more farther down though. Keep looking. Oh yeah, this is looking a lot. One of these two buildings. Yeah, here we go. House of Vermin Disease. Why am I here again? Uh, I need to find a guy that I can find. Okay. I'm in southwestern, so I need to go southeastern for this quest. Oh, general. Publish. I speak to Creedent. Creedent, okay. Oh, he's near. He might not even be in here, but he's near it, so I'll just keep looking around this place for a while. You see a squat man with rash covered skin and several pulsets covering his face. His clothes seem to mark him as some sort of an official, but they are dirty, wrinkled, and covered with rat hair. As you watch, he idly scratches himself with his stubby fingers. Greetings. Hi! The little man shrieks and jumps, startled. Oh, he wasn't paying attention. Clutching his heart, he takes a deep breath and pushes uh, his spectacles up as he cycles up on his rash rear nose. Yes, yes. And what is it that I can do for you? He scratches his nose and looks you up and down, telling your scars. I, he, have little to nothing in the till. 
So if you've come to plunder my premises, this local is little chosen. I'm not here to plunder premises. Who are you? I. I am the respected Phineas T. Lord the 39th. Oh, what a, I'm just going to call you Phineas, okay? In charge of this hive branch of the office with vermin and disease control. It is my distinguished privilege. He scratches his chest and puffs up. Informing that we, in the bureaucratic sense of the word, we meaning to encompass the sigil bureaucracy as a whole, are accepting bounties on all manner of vermin and strays that infest the... He scratches again. Fair streets of sigil, hub of the multiverse, and the city which sits at the center of all things. The city by which all of the cities are measured. Very well, okay, that's all right. Okay, so this is just a bounty board, I see. Uh, I don't think that grand guy. Gonna look again. Who, who will we feature? I should like write this down on a physical piece of paper. Uh, anyway. Read. Reading about it. Near here, so probably not in here. Oh. I've thought, oh god, these people just want to, uh oh. Oh. They're just trying to kill me, huh? Um. We can fight them. Let's get them. Let's go. Um. Dude. Damn. Uh oh. Alright, anyway, we can get them. They're missing really badly. We're doing. We're fine. We're fine. Face them off. I'm gone. Damn it! Come on, Mort. We can do it. Ain't nothing. He's go. He's separating from his crew. Face him. We won't let him get away with this. Maybe we will actually. Get back here. No one attacks me in broad daylight and gets away with it. Probably. He's cornered. Nope. Never mind. Okay. He's. Yeah, he's gonna totally get away. Okay, yeah, they just... Alright, that didn't... Okay, then. That was actually just another daylight robbery. These two seem like actually cornered though now. Nope, nope. I'm just not even gonna bother. I, I, I fucked them up. They're running. Okay, Harlot, maybe you can tell me where this guy is. You see, oh, combat music is gonna be. This is gonna be the most intense conversation you've ever heard. You see a tired looking woman dressed in a tight leather broadest and leggings. The aura of cheap perfume surrounds her like a cloud. And her face is covered with a mask of crude makeup. She smiles and sees you. Why don't you stay and chat with me a bit, love? Thorn looks coyly at you. Now, you look to be a bit blood. Blood who's lost something. Perhaps I can help you find it, Cutter. She smiles generally. I, I have some questions. He finds. I'm not a tout. Unless you got some shink to pay for my time. I can pay you. How much? For a handsome bastard like yourself? He gives a wide smile, revealing how a row of dirty treat. Three cop will be enough to loosen my tongue. He licks her lips and frowns. Other questions of a deeper chant will cost you more then. Sounds fair, here's three copper. The things I wanted to know about. What's some interest around here? Depends on your interests. No, I'm, I'm, screw you, I'm just looking for the guy. Oh, they're all harlots. They're all just, huh. Mort, what are you doing, bro? Bro, bro, get over here. Okay. <laughs> she was just trying to attack. Okay, Mort, we, we're calling off the fight, okay? We won already. All right. He's somewhere around here. Maybe there's a lot of people in the square. Come on in, 
that uh, other lady? Prata. No. Oh. Are you really? Okay, there. Sure, die. I'm gonna crit you and then you're gonna die, man. Oh, well, okay, never mind. Die. Ah! Ah! Uh, pause. Bandage. Uh, inventory. Use. Probably put this in. Where's my quick item? There we go. Okay. And back. What's the word, Chief? We're gonna kill. Get him. Damn. Ah! Stop, stop, stop. What's. Litany of Curses. I didn't even know I had that, man. I might die. Oh, because I'm on the wrong dude. Oh, we we both have our own inventory. That's neat. I didn't realize that. Uh -huh. Oh, these do not heal a lot. Uh, run! Okay. Wait, we will select our party. No, not uh, that one. Yes, get out of here. Okay. Okay, we just gotta sort of run on into here and hope we can. Ah! I saw a door icon. Where is it? There, yeah, door, door. Okay, let's hope this one works. Multiple, you're not even a person. You're just a random guy. Hi there. No, yeah, I'm not gonna rob your house either. I wonder if these crimes I've been committing are why these guys are here. There's no true way to know though if you think about it. Well, I'm gonna try and ask this guy in vermin control. Maybe he's inside it. I'm gone. What's this one? Hmm. Having fun. Okay, that put in cinematic mode. Oh, it was so long of a tale that it took eight hours. And then I realized I still offended my colleagues for I, I found myself promoted to this office branch and have remained here for these past many years. I had some other questions. Who are you? Oh god, how he really is just... Not even around here. What time? It's like... Yeah, it's 3.12 a.m. Probably gonna be even more guys outside now. Yeah. Hey man, let's talk about things. You, you have a name, so you must be important in some way. No. Another intense conversation. 
This grim-looking woman spares you only a brief glance before returning to her rant on the top of the stage. She has a powerful voice that carries across the marketplace, even cutting through the noises made by the merchants and the surrounding foot traffic. Leave her alone. Okay, we cannot... Freedon, I will find you. Red Ock. I feel like I've heard that name for some reason. Oh god. More. Look out. The man glances down at you as. What are you sniffing around here for? You, Craddock? Perhaps. Oh, this is the guy. Okay, at least. Yeah, I forgot about this quest. I need to talk to him for this reason, though. I come with a message for Bane the Sender. The message states the shipment must be incursed by the third day, or there'll be a penalty. By the hills! Can they be such fools that they think we can mir miracle it there? All right then, your message has found its way to the right ears. For all the good it will do. What's the problem? Looks around ye. Product nods to the laborers in the marketplace and scouts. The laggards and halfwits can barely keep up with the load as it stands. Now we need to be doing it in half the time. Do you need any help? I'll tell you what you need. I need all my men to show up for work. Yeah, I was got mentioned since this morning. I need him back now. Where did he go? That hybrid goat is probably passed out on the street somewhere by the smoldering corpse. Where he, when he should be here helping us with a sod. I could find him for you. Oh, could you? Class comes to you. And why would you need to do that? You need the help, don't you? It doesn't sound like you can spare the time to be go looking for him. And there's work to be done. He's silent for a moment with the nods. Aye. You find Jello. We tell him to drag his with us bub ridden hide here. I'll pay for your troubles. When you find him, now get it. Oh, you it's my journal. It's south east of here. At the south east of the Oh god. That's a lot of quests and not a lot of... Hey, look out more! Look out, we got... We'll select all! Ah! Oh, he's actually firing really well, too. Wait, Frequent? I feel like that's a name I recognize for some reason. This is... Why are there so many people attacking me? I don't understand. I'm sure I'll be fine. This man is looking at you with a strange, bug-eyed stare. His eyes are huge. So huge, they look ready to pop out of his sockets and roll across the cobblestone. He nods eagerly as you approach him, bobbling out of the bird. Hi there. Boys for corn. His breath reeks. It smells like this man is... I need to, like, go rest in the inn or something. Names, names. Who are you? Who are you? Ted does a slight twitch every time he repeats himself. Names, dangerous, dangerous. Glances at the ground and stirs at the door with his foot. Dangerous. Knowing name or being struck with one. Both in rests of trouble. He looks up at you. My name's a given name. Not one asked for. Frequent. Once again, you become conscious of his reeking breath and the smell of his urine and feces that surround him. A given name. A given name. Uh, appropriate name. Not my true name. True name. Frequent mumbles on his head. Switching every time he says name. A true name's a dangerous thing. Gives other powers. He stares at you with his eye, huge eyes and racks his finger. Keep your name secret. Keep it close and never let it out. What do you mean? Names are like smells. Names can track you of them. Rickon coughs, his eyes almost popping out of his cell as he does so. His cough seems to loosen his mouth before he breaks out his wind loudly. Before he breaks wind loudly after he's accentuated his point. If someone knows the true name, it gives them power. This is power to hurt. Well, I don't know my true name. Updated my journal. Discworld? I don't think I've played that one. No, I can't. I don't think I have. Probably look into it. If it's anything like this. 
Anyway, bless, blessed, remain nameless. You should be as a spirit of the pl on the plains, untraceable, untrackable, unseen, undiscovered. He smacked his gum wetly. A name chosen, a name given. It allows others to have you, to find you, and hurt you. Have you been hurt? Quickwin gives a twitching nod and scratches himself. Let my name slip once, only once, only once. His eyes film over as if the memory is painful, then glances you. Tell you the story I can. Well, it'll cost three coppers to you. Not, not today, man. I just need to get away from... There's a lot of guys here. I have to assume it's because it's night, and I assume I'm getting, like, mugged, basically. Well, let's find, like, a house I can pop into. I just... Yeah, let's head into here. Maybe this is where the guy is, too. This seems like a good spot. Okay, okay, combat music's still going on, and the guy is not in here at all. So I'm just gonna rest for a while. You're not okay. Don't don't loot don't loot that. I'm just gonna look at my channel. Whew, okay. Okay. Okay, well, I've nearly completed it. Creedon should be near the hive somewhere, near the office of Vermin and Disease Control. I am here. But he is nowhere to be found. And we're heading back out into the awesome combat. I'm gone. Now, come here. And do you know where the so here's a copper peach. Peace. What about the Sally where you mentioned? Okay, maybe check to the northeast. Um, market. Uh, so much info. Oh, just go, go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. You had a full name. Nope, you're just frightened. Collector. Hey, what's eating you, Chief? Uh, you got any? Go on. Yep, okay, we'll keep it. We're still looking for him. Um. Let's try the northeast, I suppose. He could be anywhere. Anywhere. And I am not seeing any help anywhere. Oh, look, more thugs. I drink. I mean, that Jinx's not your name. That's just the currency name. Hey, you want to get out of there, probably. Oh, that was me. I thought that was Mort getting left behind. This. Uh, appears to, appears to be nothing. Going very well. You have a name. Try talking to you. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Maybe I should probably just stop like actively searching for him and just sort of do it passively. That'd probably be the best way to continue forward. And also I should head back up north to go sleep in that inn, I think. But until then, one last epic conversation. You see a spindly looking merchant. 
with a brush of gray and red stubble across his chin. He wears several layers of brightly colored robes, so much so that he looks like a flag with arms and legs. He's shaking slightly as you walk. I Griscor! He bows and spreads his trembling hands. As he does, he notices his hands and forearms are a twisted mass of black scar tissue, as if they were once badly burned. Uh, what are you selling? Griscor buy cloth. Griscor sell cloth. Watch cloth. Men cloth. And... Wear cloth. Can I see what you have? Nice shot. Ah, I see. That's neat. There's a st oh, that's funny. Steal option. So, this boy selling, I think, and this would be my stuff. Whoa, 200 for that? I don't know what it does, though. threat nothing uh, I can buy some bandages I guess actually it's kind of expensive never mind I'll just buy one okay yeah we're heading up back up north Oh, they're here too. Hold on, I think let's just head into here. Let's try talking to this Minotaur guy. Oh, okay. See the tall figure of a creature standing before you. The lower portion of its body resembles that of a goat. However, just above its powerful four legs, its shape takes on a more human appearance, with a man's torso, arms, and head, all of which are covered in polished armor. The creature's eyes are closed and appears to be sleeping. I'm just going to let you sleep. You don't want to, like, mess with the Minotaur guy. Nestor, can you give me, like, a room or something? See an aging man in soiled and tattered clothes, frantically pacing in the corner. The shock of filthy white hair sticks out in every direction, and his face, crusted with dirt and streaks of dry blood, is covered with gray stubble. Every few seconds, he stops pacing and flails about suddenly, muttering and cursing as if assaulted by some unforeseen foe. He does not seem to notice your approach. Hi there, man. The sound of your voice. The old loon whirls about to face you, his wide, staring eyes bulging in their socket. He guides you for a brief moment, then returns to his raving. No! No! No, it's not you, hoo-hoo, <laughs> but soon, yes, Sue. Uh, who are you talking to? The old man seems oblivious to your presence. Hoo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> you'll come, yes, you'll come, and old Nestor will be waiting. Are you alright? No. Nestor's face turns beet red, and his whole body shakes in protest. My fork, can't leave without my fork, hoo-hoo, <laughs> fork, fork, fork. Yeah, fork. Fork, fork! Can't go home without my fork! Nessa's frenzy reaches a violent crescendo. He begins hopping up and down maniacally, then suddenly stops, lowers his head, and runs headlong into a large wooden cupboard that stands against the back wall of the flop house. The force of the impact knocks the old man back on his, flat, on his back. After a few seconds, he stands back up, a dazed expression on his face. Gone. Stolen. Can't go home without my fork. I can see this gaming nowhere. Farewell. Surely I can rest in here, though. You must obtain permission. Arlo, perhaps you will help me. Greetings, old man. Did I rest here? Sure you can. You got the jink for it. How much for a bed? Five coppers. That's the easiest five copper I've spent in my life. Okay, 12, so hopefully things will look better outside, and I can explore peacefully once more. All right. I'm gone. 
So far, things seem okay. Yeah, I don't think combat music's on. Just the same old rumblings and tumblings. Oh, never mind. I am... They just, they just keep hunting. They just want me dead for some reason. Who sent these people after me? I don't know. I... Leave me alone. Thanks. Hey, we're being watched, Chief. Just look natural. Uh, casual. Yeah, let's head up through this alleyway. This seemed to direct me somewhere. Okay. Yup, alright, hold on. This alley dweller greets you with exaggerated politeness and a deep bow. Greetings, stranger. You choose an uh, auspicious day to pass through our lands. The toll be a mere ten coins. Bluff, I've already paid for that. Dorsinger looks off into the shadows for a moment, makes a hand sign, and shakes his head at you. No, you haven't. This is the last warning you'll get. Ten coins or the cold off. Fine, take the money. Please leave me alone. Maybe that's why they are messing with me. I'm gone. Now I just have to pray that Credence actually in this area. I think these are the guys who so I assume that they will stop messing with me now. I think I've I've got them off my back. New chief. Where are you? Where are you, Creedon? These people are totally just trailing me, though. That's funny. I, you know, I did just say that I wasn't gonna. I was just gonna passively look for him instead of actively being on the search. Maybe I should just revert back to that. Although I really would quite like to find him. Where I came from. Gotta be around here somewhere. Someone named Crystal. Might as well try talking to him. You're actually a named character. I am Crystal, leader of the Razor Angels. You are in our home. What do you want from me? 
I'm looking for Ferrod. Warm hair. You can find him near Ragus Pit Square. Ask around here. You're bound to attract someone's notice. Have you seen a journal? Before you go, I need a favor of you. This slice of alley isn't just big enough for us in the dark alley shivs. We've got heart. They've got hate. Kill off their later leader, brought in William, and you'll get free passage through the alley from us for the rest of your life. You'll come here often enough. I'll save you a lot of drink. Tell me about your gang. My journal. What inherits? In internets. We've been forced to move time and time again. We settled here, and at the same time as Ron, at the same time as Ron and William, in the dark shallow shivs. Now we're in the fight for our lives. We just charge a simple toll for passage here. They take lives. We're essentially good people. They're evil, led by bad men. I'll kill them. I look forward to hearing of your success. Come back and tell me when you're done. Good luck. Updated my journal. Cool. Kill a guy. Free passage in here. Oh, we haven't gone up here yet. Bye. I'm gone. I appear to have looped back around. Well, what is it? Looks like the dusty nice. one of the better. Yeah, that's nice. This guy rolled fucking brilliantly both times, huh? I'm gone. Yes, go away. Yeah, maybe this guy will know how to actually get in then. Uh, no, can't tell. Okay, hopefully I can save in here. Yes, okay, we have an auto save. I want to just save. Yeah, this one happened later. Done. Alright, continue. Ten on the charm. How about ten? If your information is good enough, it could be more. Uh, all right then. He pockets the money up there. I'm blowing through my cash pretty quickly. It's gone so quickly. You have no idea where it vanished to. 
Looks for him in the alley spiral from the Matrix. Oddly enough, south and west of the monster is an alley filled with thugs. Know anything about that? Alright. Well, maybe you'd be best for those stutter, slutter, stutter crutches. Ah, that. Thanks. Okay, that didn't help. Alright, let's try and kill that guy then. Uh, let's see. General screen, quest. Yeah, but how do I get to him? Should have asked about that. Please, thugs, just stop. All right. But I'm working for Crystal. Okay, everyone here hates me. Let's just leave this place then. Okay, and people hate me here too. This is a not going great, you know? This place doesn't actually exist. Freedom's a fake man. I think I've already gone in here. Yeah. Done. Maybe he's this way. I haven't gone down here yet. Okay. I refuse to look at a guide this early. Keep one. Why are you? What are you two doing? I'm gone. Oh God. I think I heard about this place. Uh, there's just a guy on fire in here? Really? Uh, I thought you were the guy. Maybe bartender will help. Why am I going around the bar to talk to him? You again? What do you mean? I've never been here. Yeah. You again. You got a hearing problem? Oh, I just leaned back all the way. You was in here about 15 years ago. 
got all bubbed up, smashed over the place, and left a pile of pink corn that wasn't good enough to pay for all the damages. So you plucked out your own beaten eyeball and tells me when you'll be back to reclaim it when you got 200 coins together. I'm looking for Farad. Oh, there's another guy on here that knows where I can find, uh, I mean, where I can find Farad. Thank goodness. I'm not quite lost. Oh wow, that's a lot of text. Oh, that's kind of been the entire deal for this entire game, which is cool. You see a slightly stooped old man with a full gray beard and a lion's mane of gray hair. He wears a couple of shoulder guards as armor, and he keeps a helmet nearby. He smokes a pipe and carries a pouch of tobacco around his waist. He looks pretty strong, but he's a little plump and also appears to have some sort of breathing trouble. Well now aren't you a slight lad? Never have I seen so many scars blanketing a fella. Like a scar cloak you're wearing. Where you been? Hanging out in a grain thrasher. <laughs> oh, I'm jesting with you, lad. No offense meant, and I hope no offense taken. I'm mad. He extends his hand. Greetings, Eb. His handshake is firm. Now, I hereby tender any apologies for the unfair jesting, lad. Hope no hot feelings. Can I buy you a tankard or two of something to smooth any ruffled feathers? Why not? That's the spirit, lad. Buy for a moment. He raises his feet and heads to the bar. After a moment, he returns to you with a pair of tankards. Here you go, lad. He drinks up. He takes a massive swallow from his own tankard. Puffs up his pipe. What can I help down for you? Listen, man, I got some questions to ask you. Oh. Well, I got that. Just to look at you. I mean, you don't look like you've, you're around these parts, lad. You look a little too out of it, of sorts to be a seasoned native. He chuckles. Then takes another drink. So what can I do to help you with the lad? You need to know the lay of the land? Yes, tell me how the city and its environs work. You don't think small, do you? If you want to know about what's outside the city, go to Cajun Lay over there. He's traveled all over the place. As for the rest of it, well, I can help you. I can tell you of the lady, the Davis key, and portals. The way we keep track of time. The way the city's laid out. What is it you wanted to know? Tell me about Sigil's time. The way we take track of time and sigil by the brightness of the sky. See, we haven't got a sun and moon like most worlds. We just got this everlasting haze that brightens and darkens by regular cycles. What most folks call midnight, we call anti peak. What they call noon, we call peak. See, it's based on their peak and anti peak of the brightness. So when someone says something about five hours past peak, that's what they mean. What questions about sigil? Tell me of keys and portals, please. Mort, Mort already kind of explained this. Do you know someone named Farah? Do you know where to find sailors? I think I used to know him. Aye. Well, the more I saw your fortune, then mayhaps rest forgetting some is it. Some things, some things is better for you then. What do you know of him? Well, now I don't know everything there is to know about Phil Farrell, but I know some of the dark surrounding him. If you're determined to track down that spider and nail him to a wall, I just feel like I could spill some of the chance so you know what you're tangling with. Farrell dug his knee into a bag or pick a square not too long ago. A bunch of collectors and gangs together and started what one could be considered a collecting faction. Be that as what it may be. Where can I find him? Well, lad, if you're looking for Farad, which I would say is pretty barmy of you, you're a little off the beaten path. If you want to be finding Rick Pricky Square. It is that Farad set up Kip somewhere in the square. You know, a fellow like me who's been around the ring a few times, don't know exactly where it is. 
You're all bound and determined to find food. Go to Rackley right Square. Yes, and find it. Up. I'm be careful about it since you're. Uh, nothing. Let's talk to the burning man named Ignis. What's up with you, bro? You do not look like you're having a good time right now. Hey man, how's it going? It does not respond. It writhes slowly within the flames. It lives, but it does not seem aware of anything other than the fire that surrounds it. Its skin is flame, its heart is flame, and you know somewhere within the shattered corner of your memory that this thing is dangerous. Be surrounding this creature. Incredible. You're surprised the iron grilled the creature floats up. The floats up has been sagging and bent from the heat. At first you think you thought the heat came from the grill. Now you realize it comes from the creature. You watch. Fleckers of ash drift from the writhing corpse and float down to the ceiling. No response. Okay then, man. Kinda wish you could just double click to go fast. Adjustment, are you? Okay. What's up, the obsession with sailors? It's a. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a reference to Shenmue. I'm gonna be honest, I have not played Shenmue, I just know of the meme, but like basically at a point in that game, right? You just have to like go walk around and try and like figure out where to find sailors. And so in this game, you have to like. You know, you're asking all these people where you can find this one guy, so that's why I keep saying it. Because you just, you're asking people to, uh, you know, find this one specific thing. I'm almost there. I just gotta find one guy to figure out how to get through a portal. But that guy is not where he's supposed to be, it seems. Or maybe I just am blind. Because you don't act like a dusty, and you're not offering contracts. In fact, you're taking money instead of giving it out for that corpse later that they do at the monterey. He cycles a squeak of horror and hastens to explain. No, 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 no. I'm not a dustman. I just found these robes in the street, and I didn't have enough money to get good clothes, and I, uh... Well, there's a dustman thief around, but you could probably find him somewhere in the southwest part of the hive. I saw him, but I hid from him. Please don't hurt me. I'm not planning on it. You also know what you're, that you're not pulling it off too well. Now answer some questions. Who's the burning corpse? Let's figure out what's wrong with him. He's um, not a corpse. He's um, some crazy wizard. Ask around and they'll tell you the story. Okay, we'll figure out what's going on with him. Who are you? Me? I'm Mokai. I just like to um, drink here and um... He loses a train of thought momentarily. She's just like me, for real, for, for real. I'm just a person, you know? I see. Something else for me then. Tell me about the other patrons here. So no, they're just some people. I don't deal with much much of people. Unless they're buying me a drink. He looks like you healthily. I see. No other answers. Uh nothing else. Let's try and ask about the uh flaming man. Try talking to this guy. Now there's a guy just named O. Alright. We see a short, rotund man with a perplexed expression on his face. In the lines of his loose skin, it looks like he's not too uncommon. He carries a flagon of ale that looks like it's in the process of being emptied rapidly. Meanwhile, he speaks in a gentle voice, so quiet that you can barely hear his words. Hello, traveler. My name is Equix. Can I be of some assistance to you? Greetings. I would like to ask you some questions. What did you want to know, my friend? Who's the burning man? That? Ah. That is the last unfortunate who chose to exercise his individual will without the strength to back up his desires. 
His name is Ignis, and he was... He is... Was a pyromaniac. He burned and burned and didn't burn the right people and wound up channeling more of raw power than he could control. Now, well, you can see what became of him. We wish to learn more of him. Perhaps the poor creature Gisela can help you. I see. Farewell. Gisela. Gisela. They're talking to the barkeeper. Maybe he can follow up on it. What is this place? Didn't you see our sign out front? Didn't you see the book burning over the furnace when you came in? It's the smoldering corpse cutter. Best damn bub house in Sigil. At least, it's the best damn bub house in these parts of the hive, which makes it one of the best in Sigil. Hell, they got fancy places with plants and such on the ladies' ward. And they got fiendish taverns salted around the rest of the hive. But none of them got the ca character of the smoldering corpse. Who is the corpse anyway? Him? Ignis. He used to be a flame wizard, burned down a piece of the hive, and got himself scragged by a bunch of other pages. You want to know more about him? Go talk to Drusa. Down there by the door. Alright. Very well, I will. So he's bound out of the door, so it's probably this way. Yeah, there you are. Okay. This is a woman with fading bruises on her face and arms and a look of despairing longing in her sunken eyes. She might have been pretty once, but those days were long ago. She turns slowly to face you. Light pours into her features, and the spark of sardonic light that dances in her eyes now makes you wonder if your co eyes were deceiving you. Welcome to the smoldering corpse, Scarred Man. Can you tell me about this place? Here? It's the smoldering corpse. Though the person soldering ain't dead yet. He just keeps himself alive till someone comes along to help him out. Gods who like to see people in the pain come here. Fiends like it. Folks who don't much care for him. Care for being bothered come here too. Name alone keeps out most of the books. Who is he anyway? Updated my journal. You, the spare you saw on her face before floats across it again. Like a black winged shadow before she masters itself. That's Ignis. One of the greatest wizards to ever come out of the slumming excuse for a cesspool. They caught him, and they opened a channel to the plane of the fire through him, and now he's just a doorway for it. Keeping himself with a lie, by force of will alone. If someone could douse him for a few moments, it would give him his life back. They don't make enough water to do that. Someone should be able to find something. Ah, oh, well. Can you answer some more questions for me? Hi, Tyler. What is it you seek? Who's that by? Oh, oh, okay, that's just no loop in the combo. Have you seen Pharaoh? The Collector King? You could probably find him in a stinking ilk in the trash warrants on the far side of the hive. Good luck getting answers it. No. I'm gonna try talking to him. Ignis man. Then my journal updated. Powerful man. I kind of want to free him somehow. That'd be cool if I could do that. I find Rodden William somewhere. I should have probably asked more about that. Alright. Oh. Let's go back on out. Oh, hi there. Yeah, you know, it's pretty rude that you just are like waiting to jump me, you know? Can't do that, man. Not cool. Jump on in here. Oh, the door's locked. Well, you first took to be a doorway. It's actually a painting. It's a painting? The rest has made use of shadows of the overhanging arts and some subtle texturing effect to give the door the illusion of substance. Examine it. Other than the skill of the artist, there's nothing remarkable about the painting. 
The door has been painted on some rough stone wall. You can feel the stone and mortar beneath the painted wooded texture. Okay. Leave it alone. You know, it'd be pretty nice if these guys would leave me alone, but you know. Way. Yeah, I thought this would leave here. Okay. Uh, let's just head back up then. Let's head. I've not gone in here yet. Might as well look in here. Boom. Wait. Oh, I think I think I have to deliver something to you. Yeah. This woman's face looks broken. And she is covered in scars. They look like bite, bite marks and fingernail cuts. She is cradling the shreds of several rags in her hands. And is staring empty at the wall of the monument. At the names there. Hi there. Psst. Get you back. The woman's teeth peel back. Displaying a row of black canines. What do you want of Servati? What's the matter? What's wrong? Cause. Ca cause. Chaos men. Wrecked me cart. Attacked me. And killed three of my sisters who tried to stop them. Not sisters anymore. Now there's nothing but names on this memorial wall. Chaos men. Chaos men. A faction they say. They, what they are is an adult bunch that runs wild through the hive and does whatever they please. We never did no harm to them. Then they lope in like dogs and tear apart anything they reach. Oh, these chaos men who attacked you. They're a, hi they're a hybrid gang. A bunch of adult sods to call themselves the Starved Dogs Barking. Or some Barney Monson. I'll keep an eye out for him. Ah, but you're not people I have to talk to. No, Kruta. It's just, their names are just separated then. Uh, oh, that was a mistake. Oh, wait. Oh, well, now we're going in circles. Well, do you have an actual name? Let's try talking to you. You're just another guy I can talk to about nothing. Alright, so somewhere around here there should be some guys who are trying to kill me for some reason. So that's awesome. Hive Dwell, have you seen a guy? Alright. Peace. Greetings. If she gives you an ice cold look, then turns away. Uh, miss? Leave me, dog, or I'll be jabbing this where they'll find it. Calm down, I just had some questions I wanted to ask you. I just send my circle over her heart with a free hand, as if to ward off evil. I have nothing to say to you. Be gone if you find or go. I'm just looking for a guy. Does he even exist? Keep building. You see a tall creature with a stalk of short, of short, a stalk of white hair. Its skin has a greenish cast, and a pair of goat horns protrude from its forehead. It is dressed in long, flowing robes and appears to be floating slightly above the ground. Greetings. Oh, the creature turns its head to face you, and a series of symbols glow above its head. They will have a slight glow around them, and they just hover there. Oh, for the power's sake, hiking dabbers! What's wrong? He's a Davis. They speak in Rubuses. These annoying word puzzles. If you don't know what he's saying, then we better find a native or some other way to communicate with him. We want to. Annoying nuts. My bet. They can't speak. They would just rather piss everyone else off by trying to puzzle out what we're saying. What's a Davis? Tan is their janitors for the Lady of Pain. They float around breaking, fixing, and patching up sigil according to her whims. They're worse than corpse flies. You can't swarm though, but the lady will get. 
that lady of pain who's that she runs the city you'll know her if you see her she's got these blades around her face she's got the size and she's about the size of a giant and floats off the ground just like these guys what nods at the davis who is looking at you both nobody knows much about her she doesn't speak much all you need to know is that you don't want to make her angry you see her my advice run i see uh, very well. Okay then. Try talking to the frightened guy. See a man in tattered clothing. As you approach him, he suddenly stops and begins to look around frightened. Greetings. <laughs> what you be watching, Cutter? His voice is shaky, and it he seems to be taken back by the scars. I have nothing on me, so I don't, and my rags are not worth your trouble. I'm not here to rob you. I just had a few questions. Uh, can you tell me about these slums? Yeah. What is it you want to know about the hives cutter? Anything around here of interest? It uh, depends on what you're looking for. Yeah, he looks as if as he, as he turns to leave. Pada, you think he might? Could spare a few copper for a blood who helped you on your way. Not many around here. Do a fella. What is Tonga for all that talking? Fair enough. Oh yeah, take a copper piece, man. Thank you kindly, Cutler. May the lady shadow pass by you kindly. Stream of tears have carved channels down this man's dust-covered face. He looks to be a monk or a holy man of some sort. But the dirt covering his body makes it nearly impossible to see the man beneath. He is chanting and rolling his head back and forth. It looks like some sort of ritual. Hey there. The man stops. His friendly chanting glares at you with his tim weird eyes. He opens his parched mouth to speak, but all he can manage is a withered croak. What's wrong? Why are you crying? I. His voice is so hoarse that it sounds like he has been without water for days. As he watched, a tear trickles down his face. I am a crier of Essanon. Essanon? Who is that? Journal. Who is Essanon? The man throws back his head and gives a rasping laugh. It sounds brutal and defeated. Essanon is not a man, but a city. Why do you cry for a city? We cry for... We cry his name. Because Essanon... Must not be forgotten. All the criers of Essanon carry this burden. Do you mourn a city? Why do such a thing? Because its name is all that remains. Its avenues of light. Its great sparkling parks. It, when it was laid waste and reduced to memory. Only three score of its people survived. It was our duty to see that its name was remembered across the plains. Many cries of Essanon have died for the sake of remembering. Many. This place is you and the others at risk. Why don't you stop? The tears I shed. The dust that cloaks me. These things are nothing compared to a weight should I give up my sacred burden. We must see to it that its name is remembered. We are living memorials to its passage. If that's so, then what happens if you all die? A fresh tear springs off the choir's eye. Even his dust not face disguise cannot cannot disguise his look of despair. I do not know. We cries of Essanon cannot mourn it forever. Even now the dust clings to our robes. The spite dries in our mouths, and our bodies wither and die. Is there anywhere I could help you? You are kind to ask. Unless you can immortalize Essanon, there is no help to be had. Must it be immortalized by a man? For a tombstone service? Tomb? No? It's a stone that records a man's name, his life, and ideology. 
If it serves a man, could it also not serve a city that has died? Stones may do such a thing? Yes, and their lifetime is much longer than a man's. The name covered on stone, would Esmond's money be served? The man pauses. Will others, serve, will others see this name? Yes, it would be there for all to see, long after you have died. If such a thing were possible, where would one find such a stone? I could go look for one. If I find one, I could see to it that Esenad's name is carved upon it. You, you would do this? The man's eyes water up again. You'll be setting all the cries of Esenad free, but a score of us remain. The burden of remembering would be over after so many years. I would do so. I'll return when the name is carved. My journal. Okay, another task. And still no guy. Oh. Why? Stop, wait, let, go away. Maybe a collector will know. Greetings, man. I have some questions. Never mind. Miriam, how about you? This old woman stands silently by the wall, staring off into the distance. She seems to be unconcerned with the flow of traffic around her and clutches a wooden pole from which, she do from which dozens of small fish are dangling. Oh, hello, sir. She squints at the moment, trying to assume your identity. Oh my, you are thinking. He one of his regular customers. She proffers the pole. Tuna, sir? Mackerel? This cucumber? No fish, thanks. I had some questions. Look behind you. See what she's staring at. You can see her nothing interested. As you turn away to look back at you, you catch her looking at you. She looks away, quickly resuming her staring off into the distance once more. What? Do I look familiar to you? Goodness, no! Pause this for a moment. I... me do. Have you seen her before then? I think he, or a man of your likeness, sir, was so long ago. Tell me. Well, sir, you see, his sight's not so good now. Wasn't back then either. But I thought I saw you walking past with a small group friendly around you. What do these people look like? It's hard to say, sir. It was so long ago, and you walked by so quick like. But I remember now, the way you held your head up. There was a woman following you, trying to stop you. She had to turn to speak with you, but then you pushed her away. What happened then? Beautiful more than she was. Looked so sad, so angry, all at once. She stood there for a moment, then followed along behind you, just the same, hustling to catch up. You said there was a group? Who else was there? She shrugs. There was at least two other gentlemen who were for see who were for see. The only one I remember too clearly, though, it was tall then. It was tall, thin, reeked above he did. I stood up from across the way. Looked like he hadn't bathed in ages. Followed you closely. He did. Never said a word. Acted like the woman wasn't even there, even when she bumped against him, trying to stop me. It's all I remember. Interesting. Thanks and farewell. I'm not done yet. Can, can you tell me about this area? Huh. No. Okay. Hmm. Iron Alice, help me. Okay. <clears throat> she straightens up, hearing your approach. She's smiling politely, but from her stance and the way her hands rest close to the hilt of her weapon, you can tell she's ready for trouble. You notice one of her eyes has a milky film over it. That's close enough there, Cutter. What do you need from me? I had some questions. She nods. Ask away then. I'm looking for a man named Farad. You know, it's I. I've heard the name I had. He'd a pack of collectors, or so I hear it. Not sure where a body to find him, though. He may have tried Rack Picker Square. It's no fear. No other questions. Tell me about this place. Look, Cutter. I've got a lot to work to do. The nails aren't finding their way into this bag. Alright. Perhaps farewell. Uh, 
pal. Stop attacking me. Bah. Oh, I'm kind of getting surrounded. But there's like an army of them. Okay, we're going back up to that trash place and see if I can get any more info up there. Because finding this guy down here has not been working out. All right. But maybe I should try, do I have to like put up my weapon? Okay. Rapone, you care to help me anymore? Let's see. I can go in here. Maybe this is some up in there. Let's see. Old Mabeth. Okay. Greetings, woman. That lady woman turns and stares at you. You notice the gray shades blanking her body extend to her features as well. Her hair is a wispy gray, and her eyes are like chips of granite. She frowns when she sees you. Who might you be? I am a traveler. That's so. Where do you travel from? From the hive to here, from the Monterey to the hive here. Ah, Monterey fail faces. All concerned with making sure the debtors are all in just the right places. Ah, that season fool. Two words, same meaning. The woman's features suddenly go all blank and her eyes roll to the back of her head. Are you alright? The woman starts mumbling. Her tone mocking. Me and Dusty. We want to die because this life fake. Her eyes snap back to the front. Dusties, no sense, no nothings. He points his fingers at you. You ought to run this life, child. There's little or no place to go. I see. Who are you? Have you not of old, of old Meth Beth, then? The midwife of the square? Have you not now? He knows her eyes. Well, now you have, for I am Meth Beth. You're a midwife. What do you do? Updated my journal. I set bones right, drive the cough for the sick, yank out squirreling, Stubborn babies, men clubs, or a rag or two, cure wounds, and herbs and other such. We need a cure three then? No thanks. I must take my leave. Okay, so cure shop here. I'm gonna go try examining back up here. Can I get in here? Skipped over this place, I think. You can make it, Nameless One. Maybe we have to go like under it or something. But maybe this is like an exit. Hmm. What you got? Hmm. Oh, I can reach up here? Nope. Weird.
Oh, I'm almost leveled up. Fighter. Huh. That's neat. Here. Definitely doesn't seem to be here. We're being watched, Chief. Just look natural. Uh, casual. Maybe that, like, sound effect, whenever more it says that, maybe I just need to, like, be cool. Not like run, and maybe that's why I've been getting chased or something. You can smell the reek of dung and rotting meat on this man, even from afar. Though obviously weak and decrepit, this long, this long, thin fingers and sunken eyes give him a sinister look as he scuttles through the garbage around him. The way he drools and rolls his eyes over makes you wonder if he's mad. He tries to focus on you, but his gaze wanders. His eyes are set deeply into his hollow sockets, and his skin is terribly pale and diseased. Covered with rashes and yellow patches that look ready to peel from his body at any moment. The scent emanating from him is terrible. If you open your mouth to speak, he licks his lip and swallows. Yo, deader? What did he just say? Yo! He licks his lip again, and his long, spindly fingers pick at the skin as he stares at you. Yo, deader? He glances at to your left, and his eyes dart back to you. Dead? Dead? Hungry! He reaches out to touch you, licking his scarred lips. Don't let him touch you. His hands claw the empty air where you were, and he gives a little whine, like a pained dog. Hungry. His hands suddenly shoots out to catch a fat white grub that was squirming in a nearby heap of oval. You feel your stomach churn as he takes the maggot and shoves it into his mouth. He chews it slowly, then swallows. Yo, dead? No, I'm not dead. Yo, look, dead. He scratches himself and beneath his robe, and you suddenly notice that he's a finger hanging from his neck on a cord. It looks like there's a ring on it. Still hungry. What do you usually eat? Dead. Is that a finger bound? He looks down, his plague ridden features looking into ghastly, snarled tooth parody of a grin. Snack. He looks ready to chew on it. Leave him. You're probably good, you know. You can chill. Get on out. Okay. Yep, okay. I'm gone. Hold on, I'm gonna check something real quick. Checking something. Look what's in that box that guy gave us. It appears to be a small wooden box, intricate designs etched in a gold ordained the box. At one time, this box would have been worthy enough to be displayed at any aristocrat's estate. However, his neglect for taking their toll and it appears to be falling apart. If not for the large ruby emanated in front of the box, it would be worth it. Feelings of dread seem to emanate from this box. I don't think the thing did things attack me before I got this. Be a well crafted ornate box. Open the box. Oh god! What even are you? Uh, I'm gone. Wait, hold on, bro. 
Huh? Okay, no, never mind. What we're going out here. I think they're still attacking me. I'm gone. Yep, they are. Uh I just dumped like a monster into that and failed a quest line just to uh oh. Uh I'm gonna reload real quick. Yes. Let's load to checking something. Okay, there we go. That probably wasn't worth it. Let's try to let's wake this guy up then. No. Maybe we have to approach him later then. Alright. Alone. And nothing. I, I mean, literally nothing. Hey, we're being watched, Chief. All right. Just look natural. Uh, casual. Yeah, just look casual. Look casual. Nope, never mind. No more casual. Let's run. Let's go back into the house we robbed. Maybe that'll help. I know, right? Done. Honestly, like, I might just, like, drop that monster off somewhere to try and, uh, kill, like, maybe these guys chasing me. Or, uh, I don't know. Oh, hey, there's a, there's, look, there's a cabinet in this house I did not loot. That's awesome. See, I knew coming back here would be good. I'm gone. Ah, that why? Why? Thugs, I say. Thugs. And in there, I'm pretty sure. Definitely been in there. Let's head this way. Maybe this will be the right way. I mean, I've gone this way, definitely. But hey. You never know. Well, there's someone I need to talk to here, I think. Oh, hi there, guys. Ow. I'm hurt. Oh, don't. Why? Oh, I'm almost out. Wait, no. Down here. Get in. Bell's tattoo pot. I don't think this is gonna help if I'm being honest. I need to collect myself, which I've done several times at this point, but I need to do it like again. I need to deliver that box which has the monster in it to Kuta. I don't know if this is even like a good idea. Which I'm pretty sure I'm in the southern eastern port now. So, this person's somewhere around here. I found that guy. I need to go talk to Bean again. That's a long time. I have no clue where Ron William is. And... Oh, they all have cool renders. In a society, there are going to be people who can't live by the laws society lays down. Maybe they feel downtrodden and oppressed. Maybe they're driven to the streets because they have no other options. And they're just resentful. Whatever the cause, quite a large number of them choose to slip into life crime, living by preying off others. If you don't yourself, it doesn't mean that you like it any better when you're trying to prey on you. Okay, so these guys are just... They're just freaking worse. They're just enemies. They don't care at all. So that's awesome. 
I would love to kill them, but I'm not strong enough for it, it seems. Hi there. I think, have I gone to here? No, that's the fake door. So yes, I have gone there. I'm hurt. Yeah, I know. That's not the right way. Okay, let's go. Uh. Weird. Yeah, I just use them. There's literal damsels in distress over here. Okay, so at this point, I'm just running in circles. So, I'm gonna go try to talk to Bean again. He's somewhere around here. Yeah, there he is. Yo, I did it. Yeah, I passed your message along. Bean doesn't seem to have heard of any good word after. Yes. But he smiles and heaves a sigh of relief. Good fortune indeed. Thank you, good sir. He reaches into his rope and pulls out a handful of copper, which he counts. 45 coppers for delaying a message, eh? Good enough. Thank you. Oh, more than fair, good sir. More than fair. I can say without hesitation that there is no finer profession in all of Sigil. Thanks. Okay. We got my money and some more from that. We're close to leveling up. One more quest should do it. Yep, we're going on in. Who spells? Blast! I almost had it at that time. Did you know it's dangerous to interrupt spellcasters while they are evoking a spell? Luckily for you, I was only practicing. Well, what is it you want? My apologies. Never. Okay, I'm just. Never. There's nothing in here. All right. Oh, you're probably part of some quest I haven't gotten yet. Let's head back into here. Huh. Questions for you. I'm pretty sure I've talked to this guy before. Stole something from me. Dr. Farrell has brought many corpses to the monetary life. I'll track down Farrell and ask him. Can you tell me where he is? Uh, no one knows. Go talk to this guy, maybe. Perhaps he will hold the answers for me. I had some questions for you. Searching for Farad. Okay. Okay. 
Nothing really in here either. Quite lost. Look, maybe this quest. Done. I'm gonna look up something. One last. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, I was just looking up something about classes because uh, I noticed that this said fighter and uh, that didn't seem right for what my build is because I'm trying to be a wizard which I thought I might have missed something at the start to choose a class but I think it's just I gotta find someone to let me be a wizard so yeah. Okay, I think I gotta try and kill that one-eyed William dude. I mean, Ron William, wherever he is. Oh, oh. Because if I can kill him, then I can get easy access to this entire space without any problems. Uh oh. Bert. Uh oh. Ah, oh, great. I hope he doesn't lose his memories this time. I hope you have all your memories this time. Well, that's awesome. Uh What's up? Hey, what's eating you, Chief? Okay, I'm back here. I uh you know. Got uh, a little messed up by those guys. Lose anything? I don't think I lost any gold. Well, throw on these robes and let's just walk out of here, I guess. There is a pan- I think there's like someone in here I'm supposed to like look for too. Well, they're probably a corpse now, but like that girl who was traveling with me. Done. I can also just walk out if I want. Let's try talking to one of them. Greetings. I'm just gonna walk back into town. Well, maybe now that I've died, they'll be like, okay, you have your punishment. Hopefully. All right. I pray. I'm going back into the alley either way. Nope, no, there's still guys. I'm gone. Hold on, pause. We're gonna look around this entire map section. Any doorways first. There. We're going down here then. Run. Nice. Okay. Uh, mage and. Fuck. Okay, so this is not the place. But this does appear to let me, you know, mages. See a young man dressed in plain but well kept clothes. He pauses and is pacing as you approach. Hello there, sir. Rock's in trouble. Big trouble. Help you too? What's wrong? Rock forget rings in tent. Friends need to magic with. No rings, be mad at Rock. Run ring brown like jink. Other shiny like mirror. Last is pretty and yellow. I'll bring them for you, Rock. Updated my journal. Okay. Okay. 
Gotta get some things from this tent. What the heck? I assume that was a trap for trying to open that. Although, that did have junk in it, which that guy who I helped get rid of his contract said you needed junk to get into that portal, which like was a literal case of, I thought it was like some random thing he wasn't describing, but it might just be that. So I'm going to try and keep that in mind and maybe steal it later. Now let's look for his tent. Which, uh... It, it literally across the street, there's a door right here. Go inside, please. Go into the door. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna go back in there. Done. I'm gone. Gamlin. I'm searching for Rock's tent. Do you know where it is? Last. You another friend of Rock's? Yeah. This is one of the tents he calls home. As you can say, this one is full up. Go to one of the other tents. Okay then. Ah! Oh, thank god. Critical miss. Oh, we gotta get into this tent too. The light. Encore, encore. Thanks, Mort. Okay. Oh, finally. Now I can stop right. watching over you and go relieve myself. I'm gone. Gone. Hey, I'll be watch, Chief. Just look natural. Uh, yeah. Good as done. I'm gone. We're going back in one more time. Then I'll start walking in circles again. Done. Oh look, they're all where my all crowded where my body was, huh? I'm just gonna run on through then. Bro, look at all those people. They, these are like two opposing factions who are both like, yeah, we'd rather try and kill this one guy getting through. I'm gone. Okay, Reek Wind, maybe your story will actually help somehow. Can you tell me about this area? Here's three copper, take it. Spire word, spire word. He points to his left. At the chow alley in the distance. An alley of dangerous angles. He bends his limb in a twisted parody of one of the skeletal buildings. Not always angled. Not always burned. Not charred. Once alive, no longer. Listen. Flames, fire. Blinks his hand up. The alley burned. Great smoke ash everywhere. In the end, only skeletons of buildings left. Bones of dead buildings. Bones of dead buildings. Angles everywhere. Angles. Updated my journal. He inches forward, his voice a whisper. Again, the stench of his body like a, hits you like a wave. Dangerous now. Bad men have set up their kip there. He bows then, breaks the wind his foot. That is the tale of how the streets became an alley of dangerous angles. How did the fire start? He made a, se makes a semicircle over his heart. A man made it so. A beast made it same. A man who even fiends admire. Who? A sorceress. Oh, I know who did this. In this, the burning man totally did this. Sorcerer, there was no simple hedge, was it? But a major power. Wickwood brings his hands together. He burned for the art, and the art burned him. Very well. 
The name was named Ignis, a name respected, then feared, then hated, then punished. Okay, yeah. Popeye one of the last great magi Ignis was, and as an apprentice, Ignis learned much, much, and nothing at the same time. Frequent shakes his head sadly. In his heart, his cold black heart, a fire blazed, it burned, and it hungered. Frequent clawed at his chest as if in pain. As it burned, Ignis hungered, as it was a wash to see the plains burn. Okay. In the night, Wickwind hunches down and begins to slowly stalk in the direction of the alley, a mad grin on his face. Ignis came to the alley, that was the alley of angles, and the fire in his eyes, the fire in his heart, both he let out. Flash like wax, people like candles, and Ignis laughed, laughed, Wickwind crumbled. An evil, an evil was done, and forgotten, forgotten not. He stands up, then hunches over, looks left, looks right, then starts moving. Something was to be done. Be done. A punishment was decided. All the hedgewoods, midwives, fruit tellers, copper pitching witches, all managed majings. They came, all, even those with the smallest trait of the art, to punish Ignis. Separately, they were flies. Together. Dangerous, dangerous. He hums. Caught Ignis, granted his wish. He swirls his hand as if casting a spell. He wished to burn. They granted it. Using his own desire to fuel the casting, they made him his door, his body a door to the plane of fire. They intended to kill him. Updated my journal. Failed. Failed. Requin breaks wind again, as if to accentuate the failure of the wizards. Ignis lived! Ignis lived! Only slept. Blanket of flames. Flames turned in his sleep as he burned. Never happier. Never happier. He shut his eyes. Wrapped his arms. Burning. Ever burning. One day he will wake, and then the plane shall boil. Unfortunate tale. I have some other questions for you. Okay. Why are there so many? Oh wait, are you just a harlot or can you open this door for me? I don't think you can open that. More, I'm not gonna let you, I'm not even sure you to intend to accomplish this more. Let's just get out of here. Hmm. I'm gone. Well, my current interest is in freeing Ignis somehow. Anyone with like a water bucket could do it potentially. All right. Oh, there's a door right here. Where's this lead? Let's watch the shot. 
I want, yeah, probably. It's here to protect against you! That's we're fighting this one. The fact they run is so lame though. There's this huge building right over here, which I completely missed. Perhaps this is the one, although it still says small dwelling, although the inside does not really look like it, if I'm being honest with you. But hey, we'll still try it. Hey, perhaps this is just a small dwelling. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you! Hey, uh, wait. Moving box to box. This man has to be so totally immersed in counting boxes and scribbling results down on a piece of parchment. Looks ignored as you interrupt him. What is it now? Can't you see I'm busy taking inventory? Go bother someone else. I was told to deliver this box to you, sir. I don't know if you should open it. Well, why don't you say so in the first place? Let's see what you got for me. I'm sure I'll need you. I'm sure I'll need to you to be inventoried. Mar told me to give this box to you. As you hold the box up for him to take it, Q Etera's expression turns from one of interest to one of intense horror. No! Please! Get it away from me! I don't understand. Why are you afraid of this box? I- I said get it back! Death! Evil! Had to do more. Couldn't take it anymore. Please, take the bracing. Lives! Southwest! Hive me! No! Apparently the sight of the box is just too much for him. As he runs screaming from the building. Wait, what am I supposed to do with- my journal. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, the box is just, um, open it, I guess. I think I might have seen Brayskin before in the southwestern point. So I guess I can go look there next. Yeah, let's try that place next. I think I think I said I was one away from a level up before, but now like actually I am because I have like a Oh, I was on the right one. Physics, yeah, so next thing I do will probably be worth it. Done. Brace can not the man who's up here. Oh, I can't see him. I need to actually get up. Adok, no. I have mentioned. Go. Who are you? Have I talked to you even before? 
Okay, it's just some game. I don't like uh, running through all the dialogue like this, but uh, I'm just really trying to find, like... Well, it's not even trying to find the dude. It's also that I'm being chased by these people. But there's a second door right here. Oh, no, that's just how you close it again. That's the... In here? I'm pretty sure this is the south southwestern point anyway. There you are. Yeah. I was asked to deliver this box into your care. Well, why didn't you say so? Hand it over. As you present the box, this one changes one from anticipation to that of amusement. Whoa there, I won't fall for that, fall for that tree for a second time. Put that thing away and leave. I won't understand. I mean, I don't understand. Why won't anyone take this box? First Kutra, and now you. Did you say Kutra? Raskin lets out a great bellow of laughter. Why, well, that's what the fellow who brought me the, who bought the box off me. That he got the best of me when he bought it. I guess he figured the gems alone was worth more than any price he had paid for it. Poor fellow didn't realize what he got himself into until it was too late. What's so horrible about that, this box? You mean you really don't know anything about that box you're holding? Well. I guess it won't help hurt to tell you what I'd know. First off, so you don't get any ideas in your head, the curse on that box only affects the current owner of the box, and to be the owner of the box, you must willingly take possession of it. Okay. I guess the idea of just leaving the box for someone else to find. So what's in the box? Now that's a good question. The box has been rumored, has been a rumored, that box has been rumored about the hive since anyone can remember. There are many rumors flying around. As you can imagine, over time, the truth has been warped a little bit, with each retelling the story. I've heard many a story about the box, and they all seem to have a recurring theme. The name given to that foul thing is Mordor's box, and the owner of the box will die, should he or anyone else open it. As to the contents? Who knows? Some say it's ancient dragons, others say it's an evil sword of Mordor itself. I cannot tell for sure, but just by looking at it, any soul can tell it's something evil, and one would have to be a fool to open it. What am I supposed to do with it? I'm supposed to go into these children. He lives in the north northeastern region of the hive. Based on her that I won the box. Who knows? Maybe she'll have more knowledge of what to do with it. Or you could find some other clueless bro to take it off your hands. It's up to you. I wish you luck. Stronger. Oh hey, yeah, level up. What's that do? Saving throws have improved, fighting skills have improved, characteristic points, one characteristic point gained, six hit points gained, better saving throws, no hit. Okay. Oh, that means I can put one into this. That's awesome. Uh, what should we go for? <laughs> go with, uh. Let's do a strength point just so that I it's all rounded out better. And so, since I have to fight with them right now. Oh, that's a lot. Final screen. Okay, we're going back up northeast. I have vague memories of talking with that lady too. I think she's somewhere up here. Wait, was that the lady I found in the... In here? I think it might have been. You the lady? Yes, you are. Hey, take this box, please. I wish to learn more about this box. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this box well. I acquired it some time ago. What do you wish to know about it? Who did you get this from? Hmm, let me think. I don't recall whom I got it from. I just remember it was down in the marketplace, looking for some spell components, when some person offered me this box. After, the text after testing the box, I found it to be cursed. But I was intrigued by the spells woven into the box, and so I purchased it anyway. 
We were so intrigued by it. What made you decide to give it away? I was young and brash back then. In my relentless pursuit of knowledge, I carelessly undid one of the spells. Looked closely at the box. It was like what knew when I had it. The signs of decay are indication that the spells are weakening. I realized it's in danger if I kept the box any longer. So I had a contest to get rid of it. A contest? What am I looking for? Uh... Well, right now I'm doing this box quest line, but I am looking for that one. Yeah, once I'm done with this conversation, I'll uh go into the quest log and look for the guy I'm looking for again. Okay. It was the most expedient way to get rid of myself of it. I simply invited all the bashers in the hive to fight each other to determine who was the best. Bashers are notorious for having big muscles and not much upstairs. If you know what I mean. They came like flies to honey. I ordered some money and the box is a prize. I believe some bastard named Braskin won the contest. More questions to ask. Can you tell me which spells have been put on the box? For many years, I studied the box and tried to learn its secrets. Spell upon spell upon spell has been woven into it. To my amusement, my studies reveal that all the spells are of the type to use to confine fiends. You mean there are fiends trapped within this box? No, not fiends, a fiend. And judging by the sophistication of the power of these spells, it would have to be one of specific, of significant standing and power in its realm. More questions I wish to ask. Can you safely remove the spells on this box? Taking to remove yourself from this box, eh? That spell is the worst of them all. Basically, that particular spell has energy from the current owner of the box, and uses it to the power that one of the spells is a confinement. That isn't the worst of it. Being inside can smell this energy, and more than likely hunt down that person should it escape. It's really a no win situation to own that box. Either it drains you dry of your energy, or the fiend within kills you. I see. You have a history behind this box? The only thing I know, have been able to know is its name. It is called Mordor's Box. Who this uh, Mordor is, or the origin of this box, I do not know. Is there any way to safely dispose of it without hurting anyone? I am not strong enough to fight or ban such a creature. It's been ages since I've been here. But there was a cathedral located in the middle of the alley of... No! I have to go to the alley. Priest or someone who gains their power from a higher source might be able to help you. Okay. Updated my journal. So I have to go to the alley. I'm gone. Alright. Now, here. Let me find the guy I was looking for. Where is it? Okay, I'm looking for a guy named Creedon near the office of Vermin Disease Control. I found the office. It's in the south, like, uh, western point, I think, of the map. But I couldn't find Creedon for the life of me. So that's the guy who I'm just passively keeping a lookout for. But I've just been wandering around, basically. So I find him. Which, I know the stream says no backseating. But if you know where Creedon is, I'm okay with you telling me. Because I cannot find him. In the meantime. Okay, back to the other way, I guess. This isn't going to go well. But I have to try.
torre. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh oh, this isn't good. I'm hurt. Yeah, uh, sorry, pal. It looks like we're going down. Done. Ah, oh, great. I hope he doesn't lose his memories this time. Feels I'm like gone. I've been through a shredder. Hey. Oh, we got one of the rings he needs. Uh-oh. What? Game has appeared to crash. Okay. Uh, that's weird. Uh. Hold on. I'm gonna try turning it back on. That was weird. Uh. Nope. Okay, yeah. I mean, it saved exactly here. So, I mean, I guess that wasn't bad, but that was weird. Done. I I know, I know. Listen. It's it's not giving Okay, it is kind of giving up. All right. It's more like uh It's more like I searched that entire area. Well, I get I couldn't search it properly because um you know, there's enemies. Right. I'm sure. Fine, I'll keep looking. All right. Let's also. I think this is the creature. Okay, I'm gonna try talking to these guys. Are you, Pedro? Okay. I'm sure I will figure it out. Uh oh. You know, maybe this is why people complain about the combat. <laughs> Probably rebind the controls at some point. That'd probably help. How many times must this fool die? Shut up, Mort. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh. uh let me look. Quick. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I haven't searched that much, then. So. 
Neat. Oh wow, the map screen just so that's smooth. A smooth map screen, that's All good. Right. Well, I might as well just keep looking. Where's the... This isn't in the alleyway. You know, I really should have just paid that toll and did everything there instead of... Oh, so that's the wrong way. Have you considered dealing with the enemies some other way than running past them? Uh, yes. Although, well, maybe I have some combat way. Well, combat's probably not going to work since there's so many of them. I'll try talking to them instead, then. I'm gone. I could also, of course, drop the, uh, the monster, too. Wait, 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 that's not, that's the attack. Don't attack. No. Dialogue, dialogue. Um, hmm. Hmm. I mean, there's no way I could win. Because there's too many of them. And only two of us. The box is looking pretty appealing, but will it even attack? I guess it's worth testing, at least. I'm going to make a quick save. Oh, I cannot save. Okay, hold on. Go out here real quick. And I guess I'll try and kill this one. Oh my god, I killed one! Incredible! Oh, thank- I got a critical. Okay. Okay. Save. Testing the box, we'll call this one. Alright. Hey there you guys. Uh I want I wanna show you a little friend I have. He's a, a really nice fellow. He uh Open the box. Alright. Okay, that did not seem where's the enemy? Did did it work? Uh, where did it even... I opened it. Hmm. Did you take it some... What? The heck? I got the ruby from it. Where's the dude? There should be like a big violent guy. Uh oh. Well, this is not good. I'm. Hold on. Okay. Alright. Wait for that. Back. <clears throat> okay. Uh. 
Well, that guy didn't even show up. So I'm just going to try loading it. All right. What happens if I try and load it right here instead? What the heck? He doesn't even show up. That's weird. I loot this guy. No, I did not. Oh, any. Maybe I've like already gotten rid of the spell somehow or something. That would be really weird, though. I'm gone. Because I feel like I haven't. I have definitely not gone to the end of that quest line. So I'm not sure why that guy would even do that. Hmm. I'm going to try and fight the guys instead, I guess. I don't think it's going to work, though. Because there's too many. But hey. Might as well try. Okay, I'm being surrounded. The attacks are... Okay, yeah, that went about as well as I thought it would. Alright. Feels like I've been strained through someone's bowels. Yeah, you kind of have been, man. Hmm. Well. All right. Let's see here. All right. Let's. I'm gonna pursue some other thing then. If I could kill Rod and William, then the people in the alley would probably, uh, be friendly towards me. Although I don't know where Rod and William is at all. I think I could have asked her about it, but I chose not to. And then when I tried talking to her again, she would refuse to give me info. Kind of at a loss here, but I think I could find them. I'm gone. Maybe let's get a critical. Come on, critical. Six damage, nothing. That's nothing. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Please don't run. Why are you running? Get back here. I'm just gonna let this play out. I don't care how this goes. Hmm. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Oh, he's almost dead. Come on, you can do it. You almost got him. Okay. Oh, that one totally connected. I saw that. That entire animation totally worked. Okay, that's... this isn't working out. Just gonna... I'm gone. Hmm. Very odd. Ratbone can train me. Let's try talking to him about that. You train me? Sure. Boy, Spottle Jink. Have you been trained before? No, I haven't. That's fine. I'm gonna cuff you now. So dodge it. He suddenly swings his open hand at your head. Dodge it. Avoid Ratbone's blow. Not bad, Cutter. Now about that job. 50 commons and I'll see each- Oh. I thought he was asking me to pay for it, but no. Okay, no thanks. Alright. I'll try- if I- I mean, I have the money for it. I just don't think it'd be worth it. 
Well, I'm gonna go try and steal that junk from that one dude's tent and hope that goes well. Okay, critical hit, critical hit. Come on, critical hit. Oh, see, look, yes, nuts. Oh, come on, don't run away now. I almost had you. I need, like, a ranged ability really badly. Because otherwise this is just going to happen. He's dead! Critical hit, critical, come on, critical hit, critical hit. Give me a critical hit. Morale failure, run. You can do it. He's trapped in the corner. We got this team. Die. I think, is he dead? Yes, he's dead. Oh, I, I got that. Some of them are dying, finally. Oh, it's late. I should probably sleep. Oh well. Is this the cathedral they're talking about? I'm hurt. Get back here and die. At least more level up over here. Yeah, awesome. Good job, man. You're kind of you're carrying this team if you think about it. Yeah, they are pretty easy, right. but like the problem is they just keep like running away. See how east they actually. I assume you meant easy there, unless you did mean east, in which case I guess I can try more east. Oh. All right. Ends now. That's helpful, I think. I'm gone. I'm gone. I've already been in here though. Yeah, it's just this place. Alright.
Try this way. Oh, I should not have went through this way. I didn't mean to leave, but that's probably the best point. I feel like I accidentally got like the entire city guard call on me somehow in like Skyrim, but I don't know what I did. I mean, I know these guys are just thugs. Maybe I should have just been, have been trying to kill them off one by one whenever they popped up. Just that they run away so much. Oh, this guy's going into the corner. I should be able to get him. There we go. Yes, I know. I'm gone. Oh wait, this there's just a... Mar oh hey, it's you! Mar's still in here. Hi there, Mart. Please take the box back. No! I will not touch that cursed box again. Get it away from me. You willingly accept the box, keep it or give it to someone else. No, it's n it matters not to me. But I'd be telling you one thing. I'd rather die than be stuck with that box again. Now leave me alone. When I'm done dealing with that box, I'll be I'll come back to do a few. Very well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're easy. Cold out here. Well, luckily in that one alleyway, I have appeared to uh, directed most of them Done. to uh, the sort of southern portion of it. So I think I'm able to sneak back in to finish that quest or drop off the box wherever I need to drop it off at. Really unfortunate. I decided to just not pay the toll. Right. Oh, never mind. Okay, pause. Now I just gotta look for doorways. Apparently a cathedral. That's a that's a tent. Although I do think I have to go there. I think this one was like the final cathedral. I'm gonna try and get here first. Uh oh. I'm hurt. Never mind. Okay, new plan, new plan, new plan. Watch this. You, you're going to run away up here. I'm gone. While you are going to run into here. We're using strategy finally. Go, go team. Okay, I accidentally selected both of you, I think, but it worked out anyway. All right, now we're in here. Oh okay, yeah, I came here to steal that junk. My inventory is full. Uh, yeah, I can give it. Okay. Why? Fighters on. Express sync 2 through 7. Okay, I should be using this instead then. I'll just keep it in, in there since I can have multiple things. 1 through 3 slashing, although it's probably faster, huh? Oh, wait, what? This has a 10 speed? Okay, what am I doing? I am like. I haven't been playing this game right at all. Oh. 
Oh, I don't need both Dustman stats, so I'll just drop one. Okay. All right. Yeah, we got the junk. Maybe it'll just let me get through that thing. I'm gonna also try and take that one. Too. Now, I think these are supposed to be the guys who, like, I give the box to, but I have to do this guy's quest first. Uh, the problem with that is that I, um, you know, I his quest involves going through all these tents. There is a bunch of guys who do not want me doing that. I was trying to, I should swap around some of these button controls so that I can use WSD for camera. I'll do that later though. Okay, or you're gonna go, you gotta run up here, okay? All right. But wait, I don't think I put you on run, so I'm gonna re-give you that command. Hey, ah, run, nope, ah, damn it. Uh, I'm probably gonna die now, but uh, oh well. All right. Okay, he made it in. I did it. Done. Okay, there's the gold ring. Although. Seems I'm not having quite as much luck finding the rest of them. Black Rose? Who even? I'm gone. Black Rose, who are you? Okay, listen, I know who you are, but you led me up here, and you also killed one of those guys, so you're pretty good in my books. Yeah. This man moves with a frightening speed, and he seems only half there. His eyes burn out of this, his haze, and their madness pierces your heart. You. His voice is like a blast of cold air. Declare your allegiance. Do you hold for good or evil? Who are you? I am Black Rose. I am a hunter, and I hunger. I am a scourge. Now. Declare your allegiance. Okay. I believe in aiding those less fortunate than myself. I choose good. There's a man named Rotten William. He's a dark and deceitful man. He's the leader of the Dark Alley Shivs. Find him in this alley and slay him, and you will solve the cause of goodness. Fall and evil shall lies. Refuse and I shall slay you. Okay, I'll do it. Sure, man. Thanks. I wait. You. Go. Now, I had some questions first. There are no answers, there is only action go. Okay then. Well, at least that kind of leads me in direction of where I have to go. Although, I think this... Okay, this Black Rose guy just, like, killed these guys. So I'm gonna... I can lead them all up here and have him... Yes, keep going, Black Rose. Go for it, man. Go for it, Black Rose. Get him! Thank him. Okay, Black Rose appears to totally be on the Razor Angel team, considering he just walked past. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Black Rose, get him. I believe in you. I see, I hope you're immortal. Go, go. Uh-oh. Well, he seems to be winning for me. Okay, I... I'm gonna put that one as a win in the, uh, in my books. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's pretty right. Charm of Infinite Recall.
What's up? You would it. Sure, why not? I'm gone. Yeah? Good as done. Okay. You can you gotta be my piggy bank, Mort. Okay. I'm gone. So I have a new strategy for this area. I finally figured out something. I'm going to attract all these enemies to me. And then we're going to run up and have Black Rose uh, murder them all. Get them, Black Rose! This worked out great. Go for it. Kill him. Okay. I have no clue where you came from, but I respect you for your help. Oh, I have two Jagged Knives. Pop one of them. Get him! Get him, man! You're, yeah, you're the hero, alright. Get him! You're, you! You're the main character now. You are the guy who fights, okay? Okay, I can actually kind of freely move around this place again. That's amazing. Oh, that's Walter William. Get him! Also, I don't think I'm using the best weapon. Yeah, my axe. Use that. Damn it. Hey, I got him. Damn it. Okay, hey, I did the thing. I killed I got a quest. Ronan William is dead. Well, I did it. So, uh, now hopefully the other side will be friendly with me again and I can go talk to people. At the very least, Black Rose will be happy with what I've done. Black Rose? Yeah, I know. Hello? Black Rose? There you are. You're hiding. I did it. Yes. Whoa, lots of experience. We established our philosophies now. A contest of arms. The winner is the true victor in our struggle of truth. Hmm. You really are mad, aren't you? Oh, 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 God. He doesn't lose his memories this time. Thanks, Black Rose. Uh, you. Worse than last time. Well, you know, Black Rose, he giveth and he taketh. He's mostly giveth, so now he's taketh. All right. But other than that, it's gone pretty good. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. We just gotta get back down there now. So, hopefully, we'll be able to wander freely. Which means we can solve these two quests we have. Unless the other side's still angry with me, of course. In which case, I'm just kind of messed up. I don't know how I'm going to kill Black Rose. He seems way over my level, but I'll come back for him eventually.
Okay, so they're all still angry with me. You guys, stop! I did the thing! Well, at least half of you need to stop. The other half needs to get back with the program. I could probably... I assume Black Rose would still be pretty effective here. Well, might as well try Black Rose again. I don't think it's going to work, but hey. Because, yeah, he's kind of more focused on killing me, I think. Oh, hey, Black Rose will kill them still. Okay. New plan. We're just going to wipe this entire area with the help of Black Rose. Nice. And see, I took down a few of them. I mean, at least one of them. I don't know if I killed any others besides for that guy. But, you know, it's the general sort of, uh, meaning of what I've done. Okay, now how am I going to get Black Rose himself? I, I should loop around the map first and make sure they're all dead. I, mean, I could probably kill, like, a couple. Like, I have more strength than, like, three of them, I think. Yeah, and these guys don't run, I think. So I can just kill them all. All right, there we go. All right. You can get him. Get him, come on. Woo! Okay, so much loot. Must be down. Points. Okay. Those guys are done. I'm pretty sure this building is the cathedral, but I do have to do that quest, which I established already. But I'm... Oh, there's two more. Honestly, I could probably take these guys down on my own. I just need a black rose for, like, the crowds of people. One. I wonder how this is going to affect my alignment. Did it? Through neutral still. Perhaps it won't. Perhaps it will. Okay, it's time for Black Rose himself. I don't think this is going to go well. But, uh. Okay, here's the plan. We're going to send more in first. And then I'm going to follow up. Okay. Wait, you got a spell. Wait, Vanessa. He's hiding. Okay, here, we're gonna rush on into here first. Okay, there he is. We see a circle. Alright. More. You got a spell. It's never worked against any opponent, but we're gonna try it. Yeah, good, good point. Okay, then you're gonna go in. Alright, and then I will loop around him. And, like, bit like oh. that. I'm gonna loop around and then I'll get the back attack. And may have okay, I keep missing. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Keep taking more. You got it. You got more health than me. We've almost got him, I think. Nice! Okay. Did you drop anything? Rusty dang. We've done it. I think this entire alleyway is dead.
Now they did say that... Okay. I can focus pretty much entirely on the quest now. Which they said that, like, his belongings would just be in nearby tents. Which I've only seen two tents. I'm gone. I, yeah, I should probably definitely try talking to the other guy then. Huh? I just eliminated, like, an entire section of the city, huh? Owen. I'm gone. Any tent. Aha! There, it's hiding. Bronze wing. I assume this is like the specific one we need. So I'll, I'll just throw the jagged knife in. Take Okay, so somewhere around here, there's probably one more area I can go into that features the final tent. I just have to find it first. Oh, you're alive. Well, not anymore. Damn. Let's do a full sweep of the screen. Look everywhere, even for the subtlest of clues. Maybe one's like in the house he's in. Check that box. Try talking to one of the mages then. Well, not working out too well. Probably rest party here. It's too dangerous to rest. What do you mean? I've killed everyone around. Well, hmm. I would like for it to be daytime. Let's. I'm gonna go to that one house. With the people are helping rest up. Then I'll come back. I also got those pieces of junk I can maybe try on the uh, on the portal I have to open. Mind if I rest here? Thanks. Alright. Gonna be healed up. Now let's head on back. All right. Oh man, it's so much clearer. I'm gone. Oh, right here. Found it.
You seem to have saw her. She abruptly stops drumming through the tent and stares at you nervously. Hi there. I wasn't doing nothing. I swear is it. Why don't you tell me what you weren't doing? She looks at you as if you were about to tell her. As if about to tell you something, and then she just she quickly dashes for the door. Oh, gone. I uh, hope she didn't steal the ring. Done. Gotcha. Okay, it should be all of them. Uh, I just need to drop something. Um. There we go. Right there. Oh, you can use this to uh, force the lock wall up. Okay, that's awesome. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, that should be all of them, I think. So, I, okay, I finally figured this out. I know. Rook, I have it. Yes, I got all the rings. Here you go. You new friend of Rook now. Rook tick rings now. Rook thank new friends. Farewell. Masters, Rook has rings. Then let us begin. Ah! Bra! Ka! Da! Am! Oops, bra! <laughs> we did it! Uh oh, watch out, it's attacking. Oh, oh no. Hey, uh. Did it really just. <laughs> Lim Lim? You see what appears to be an ordinary limlin. It's hard to believe what this that this cute little creature slaughtered five wizard apprentices with such ease. Kick limlin? No, not yet. Rook, uh, sorry about your friends. Rook loves friends. Rook make new friend. Call him green thing. Really? They're just all dead now? Ooh, I should probably take these. Um, I should do it before I engage with Limlin. Alright. Yeah, okay, you can't just do that. Awesome. Uh, Alright, you're gonna take everything that we will have to sell later. Actually, you're gonna take everything except for, like, the important stuff. Put the change all this. It's okay, so it's like a bonus. Hey, then, that, 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 should be able to pick up everything now. I have no clue when I'll be able to use all these spells, but we'll figure that out later. Silver earring. Got it. Gaudy ring. Green steel dagger. Uh, scroll of iron, fist iron, and one more. All right, now, Lim Lim, I'm sorry, but this seems like a bad idea, but here we go. Uh-oh. This is not great. I'm hurt. Oh, uh, pause. This music sounds a bit different. I'm probably in, like, a boss battle or something. Oh, this heals so much. Should have been using this the entire time. Go for it. Yeah, uh, okay, you're gonna run. Don't let it end like this. 
Okay, so Lem Lem's tough is basically what I figured out. Oh, it's hilarious. Okay. That didn't go quite as I expected. A less great tactical victory, if you will. In fact, you would probably call it a tactical other than that. I still kill him, I think. I'm at full health now, except for more. I'm gone. Okay. Oh I swear this had to be the place where like Okay, oh why? I'm hurt. Okay, uh, you, move back here, and then you, keep up the attack, and then, uh, I should put this on the quick item, you, heal from now, okay, and then, but, sorry, Brook, but you have to go down. Oh god, why is Rook so strong? Okay, escape, escape. We're getting on out of here. Never mind. That's not. Done. We're gonna have to be stronger for that one, I think. Ugh. Am I like done with the box quest line? Let me look at it again. Maybe it was like just some like random thing. Let me check my log. I don't think oh. yeah, I should be in the alley of dangerous places. That's not what it says at all, but same gun. Yes, alley of dangerous angles. Tent. Burnt building. Tent. Tent. Ruined cathedral. Over there. Okay. I guess I just didn't find the door for it. Is this it? Okay, I'm I'm unraveling this mystery. I saw a door symbol, but I didn't mouse over. There's that one. Maybe it's just a. How to get in. How to get in indeed. Maybe if I just start clicking. Oh, I think I found it. Yes, there. The weird place to put the door, but hey, it is the door. Oh, I see. You, please help me with this box. I come seeking counsel concerning a box and a fiend. You explain to him your predicament. Ola seems to consider things for a moment and then speaks to you. I, a humble disciple to the great Oska, can indeed help you. First, you must relinquish the box to me. Take it! He then places the box within a wire pyramid shaped structure and then mutters a prayer to Oskar. 
A familiar shimmering of portal soon fills the sides of the pyramid. Aloha then casually reaches through the portal and flips open Mordo's box. He's screaming in an attempt to stop him, but you are too late. Almost instantly, the box begins to disintegrate as a sickly smoke begins to fill the pyramid. The feeling of immense dread fills the room, and it is all you can do to keep yourself from bolting from the tent. You notice that as the tendrils of smoke touch the sides of the pyramid, they are drawn into the swirling vortex of the portals. At last, the tendrils of smoke disappear. The feeling of dread passes. Ella smiles a bit nervously at you. Witness the power of Asgard, the keeper of gateways! I'm sure if a fiend of such power that requires so many spells to contain will have no problems making it way back here. And when it does, it's going to be looking for you. I have taken that into consideration. You see, each side of the pyramid contained a portal to a different plane. In effect, a scarce its essence far and wide across the multiverse. You know there are races out there that consider demons a sort of delicacy? <laughs> Payment for my services. I will use this to help rebuild my beautiful cathedral. Keep the gem. You have far more than earned it. Very well. I'm gone. Okay, I did it. Speaking of gem. Okay, I'll, I can just go talk to more about the box, and then that appears to be it. Okay. So uh, that's all the quests I have completed in here for a while, except for killing um, Lim Lim. But other than that, I uh, I'm good. Okay, we figured it out. You know, it took a bit, but I stopped. You know, the army that was after me. Now let's just go talk to my. Yes, die. Damn it. Yeah, I'm on low health. Please die. Well, uh, I could probably just run over here. Done. Ignore me. More. Where are you? Uh oh. Okay, this room's entirely filled with, like, guys, but, uh... Other than that, I have gotten to Mars. Have you not read the manual? No? I mean, I saw it, like, on the Steam thing, but I didn't... Should I have done that? Is, is that something I should have done? So I kind of skipped over that. I mean, I could probably open it right now. Mai's R's take on a wild look as you approach. In a high screeching voice, he asks, What you be doing back here? I got rid of the box, Mar. It does me heart good to hear you say that. Before he kills me for the horrible deed of tricking you into taking that box, please let me try to explain. Okay then. The long short of it is of it be that that box has been around as long as anyone remembers. Chances some folks were fighting, and when they are done, a huge demon was imprinted inside that box. Other folks say an evil wizard made it just for seeing others suffer. No one rightly knows what the truth behind that box be, but the owner of the box should die should it be opened. Why didn't the owner just put the box where no one could find it? Aye, seems it should have been as simple as that. But who among us could live with such a death sentence lingering over their head? It would drive any sane man over the edge, having to worry about the whereabouts of that damnable box at all times. Why me? First off, I haven't seen you around here before. You see, I need a clueless book such as yourself to accept the box and become the new owner. Everyone around here knows not to take the box. Not for any price. Secondly, if you didn't examine that box when you had it, you would have noticed that whatever magics were placed on it were weakening. With me being the current owner and all, you can see that I needed to pass it on right quickly. Besides, if anyone looked ready to pass it on to the next realm, it was E. 
You want to talk about passing on to the next realm? Keep talking, or you'll find out about it. Obviously, I picked a cutter of no small means. Truly, this has been a minor inconvenience for one such ye. I offer this weapon and some jink uh, to line your purses as reward for your troubles. It's all I own. And coincidentally, this is what that rat cutter used to get me to take possession of that box. Give me a reward, and then I'll leave me. Okay, I got something. Uh, I'm stuck, though. What are you giving? An axe. Okay, so this has a this has a better um, max thing, but it also has a lower one. But it doesn't have that minus one on whatever this is. Wait, identify. Oh, I can't. Gave me a lot of money too. Oh! Oh my god, you can just press tab to highlight stuff? Oh, that's so- okay, yeah. I'll have to read that manual once I'm done. But, oh, that's a lot. That's pretty- yeah. Wow, that's useful, huh? Well, I feel dumb now. <laughs> you can just press tab. <laughs> well, that'll help me with searching for that guy, at least. Uh... Well, right now, my only problem is that I am stuck in a room. Yeah, maybe I can just escape. Watch this. I'm just gonna run out. Okay, I'm just gonna kill them. I can probably kill these guys. I'm hurt. You got out. Okay. Pops. Tab. Oh, that's so useful. Have I been inside all these doors? I'm not sure if I've been inside this one. I definitely think I've been in that one. We'll try this one next time. Are you him? No, you're just a random guy. Hmm. Hello, hunched man. I feel terrible. What happened? I'm not sure, but I think a bit of West will do me good. Can you please leave me alone? Okay then. Done. It's done. Okay, ignoring the guys out here trying to kill me, uh. I'm pretty sure I've been in that house up there. I'll try this one right here. Are you? Nope, you're just no hive door. I'm pretty sure I've talked to you. Down here. Yeah, if I just walk into like the center of town, then uh, I can tab and look for everyone. Oh. 
Um, you know, I'm not sure if I believe that, uh, that this guy's around here. Stop following me. Go, go die. I get a critical. Thanks. Awesome. Actually, I can go sell to these guys. I've built up a lot of a uh, hive merchant by selling to you. You have. Okay, that didn't quite work as well. Try this guy. What you have? Okay. Although he doesn't want my silver stuff, I mean my gold stuff, unfortunately. What about you? Do you accept my smart things? Family contents. Jump, Lim Lam, jump! Oh, hi. They are from the Outlords, my lord. He's a holy insect nor animal. They are friendly, playful, and quite loyal. He takes a sidelong glance at the Lim Lams, and leans close to a swear. Pretty tasty too, in a pinch. I'd like to purchase one. The Lim will provide some food, eating insects and tiny ruins as they like. They'll follow you everywhere, and are easy up after a quiet exercise themselves with a constant flipping about in the stall. Keep over 15 feet when prodded with hot coals. One only cost you but 40 coppers, my lord. Me a pittance for such an interesting pet and friend. More, what do you think? Eh, why not, boss? It'll be fun to kick one around when we're down, right? Hmm. Well, I can kick it vicariously through you, at least. I want to see that 15 foot hot coal jump, too. Uh, I'll keep my copper for now. But it's definitely something to keep in. It doesn't even mention it. That's super funny. Just here, I can check the uh, how to play again. Pause. Weapon. Select spell. Select. I don't think it says here either. That's su that's funny though. <laughs> what are you? Aha, there we go. Take that, take that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get stuff for more too. Oh hey, I can do this. That's pretty good. Battle axe of high quality. Ooh, that's a lot. High quality sledging. Well, I might as well buy the best one I can then.
Leave me alone! Yeah, that's what I thought. The news is everywhere! <clears throat> Congratulations on breaking the curse of Mordor's box. I must admit to being a bit skeptical that an ugly burk such as you could accomplish such a thing. Mind you, I still think you're uglier than a Baku's arse, but I've got respect that for what you've done. Come, share a drink with me so I can so you can tell me how you did it. Okay. Oh. You've rusted for eight hours. After a few tankards, a few songs, a few junks, you've come to like bread skin immensely. In fact, at the moment, you seem to like everyone. Soon, Braskin falls to the floor in a drunken stupor. You realize it's time to go. All right. Kill him. It'll be the easiest kill of my life. Oh, my aching head. I don't think I'll ever recover. <laughs> I hope he's like this for the rest of the game. It's gonna be nighttime now. I'm gone. Yep, I'm gone. Uh, oh. oh, better go, better go rest again. All right. This place still has like battle music that comes on, I think, but like. No one here to fight, even. Like, I've won, basically. Actually, there's not battle music right now. I just made that up, basically. Oh, well. I just, you know, I just didn't think about it, is the thing. That, that's basically my full excuse. I, uh... I didn't try pressing the button. And, you know, it went about as well because of that. Uh, I want to sleep here. Alright, thanks. Alright. Okay, now I know for the future. Into all these cool doors, I like this one I've already been into. Alright. Uh, well I got junk, so I guess I can go and try up here. Hi, Anna. Hmm. Yeah, I don't got anything for you, too.
Hey, you kind of come on inside. It's warm in here. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. All these other doors, which I just ignored, huh? This will make things a lot easier. Oh, God. All right. Finally, the rat house. Staple of all adventures. Oh, God. These, these rats are, like, effective, though. Well, they kind of are. Maybe they just got lucky. I'm gone. Ooh, box. Nothing. Back off to where you came from. Oh, that's Anna still. What? Who? I really don't have time to talk with you. You see, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to complete my spell without the key component. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah, pause this for a second. I guess I can help. I am in need of a ruby to complete my spell. It must be of exceptional quality, not like the junk they sell. Oh, no, God. Uh. Updated my journal. I gotta go get the ruby back. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. All right. Hey, we're being watched, Chief. Just look natural. Uh, casual. I need to try that stuff. Oh, hi there, portal. See what's on through this thing. Hello? There's a chest? Junk. More junk. Nah. No. But now I appear to be somewhat trapped in here. Or not. Oh. Hi there, people. Who are you? Listen, this isn't what it looks like. Unlike other collectors you've seen, the rubs in this one seem to be of fine quality. Ah, uh, another debtor has come to visit us. Please excuse the mess. My colleagues haven't had the time to tidy up. There is no way out. Why, sure there is. The door is right over there. But you need one of these to activate the portal. You'll do what appears to be a small glass bead. Come. Let us talk price. I'm listening. Simple. You pay my comrades and, I, and me 100 copper, and I give you the key to the portal. What if I don't want to pay? Then me and my friends will have to sell your body to the dustman. Either way, we get paid. I think I'll kill you instead. Okay, oh. Oh, we're already in combat. Oh, he cost the armor himself. Oh. Okay, so I'm looking at the situation right here, and I'm, this is looking not great. Game paused, game paused. Okay, we can't see the health on those guys, so we should probably try and take down the thugs first, and then we can focus the boss. What's up? Uh, go for him. Now I'm healed, so go for him. Go for him. You see that? Okay, and then... All characters, go for that guy. Got it. Okay. And talk about boss. I almost got him. Got him. All right. Last portal key. Okay, I think I. Think it took me a bit, but I think I'm finally I'm getting this game. Yeah, maybe I have to use. Oh, yeah. Inventory. Simply crush to activate. And 
and then we can exit. Well, that's neat. Wait, let's not go. Yeah. Rush back around here. Aha, the junk does work. The wall of a few flickers, wavers, and seems to fuller on itself, revealing open space beyond it. Here we go. Okay. Who needs that Creedon guy? He's a faker. You don't need him. He's a fake NPC. Uh oh. Animal. A ragged middle aged collector approaches you as you enter the area. Aye. He quickly looks over you and sneers. Don't know you! I don't believe I've made your acquaintance either. He glares at you. I'm looking for Pharaoh. What are ye looking for is no concern of mine, Burke. What concerns me is that you're still breathing in my presence. Then I'll leave your presence, Burke. As soon as you turn to leave, you notice one of the cracks is drawing a knife from his proctor. Don't know what you was thinking about coming down here, but the only place you'll be going to is the murderly. Okay, here we go. I'm gone. Get him. <laughs> One hit! Oh, but then the rest of them are angry, and that's a lot of guys if you think about it. Um, do I have any more help? Oh, this is not going great. Uh. Okay, so guys, I think we need to really talk about things first. I mean, I, could, I might be able to take them. Might as well try. Not like I got anything else I can really do. Really? Well, these guys have the... They like running away too. Hey, Skull, look out. You're gonna go uh, down soon. Oh, we got lots of good hits there. Uh, do you have any going? Not really, bro. Sorry, you're gonna. Here, uh, you hang back. I... And then I'll, I'll take these guys. I got this. Ooh, wow, critical hit. Hurry up. What's the word, Chief? Good as done. I'm hurt. Come on, you can do it, you two. Take him down. Oh. Ah! I'm gone. Please have help. Bandages. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, though. More. That was my best combat performance yet. Uh oh, this is not where I normally respawn. Uh, hi there, Marta. I don't think I've met you. Is she a blockish woman dressed in a heavy burlap robe? We love us about the room. 
Her joints popping as she bends over to pick up the objects from various tables. Her hair is bound back from her head, and she has a sour, curved face expression. She is mumbling to herself in a sing-song voice. Hello. The woman doesn't appear to hear you. Instead, she stumbles back to one of the long tables and begins picking one of the corpses. Come out now. She clicks her teeth. Don't be all difficult on Marta. He's being difficult, isn't he, Marta? Yes, he is. What you can see, looks like she's digging teeth out of the corpse's mouth with only her hands and fingernails. When that doesn't work, she pulls out a splintered wooden chisel and a mallet, a comically large mallet, and thwacks out the gums until the tooth snaps free. Then, pulls it into, she's the tooth fairy! Yay! Marta leaps away from the corpse, startled, and gives a personal shriek, Hi! She catches her breath, then hisses angrily at the corpse on the table. If dead you are not, you might have said something earlier, false corpse, nasty corpse. Yes. I am the one who spoke, not the corpse. Eh? How's he get over there so fast? Marta, how's he do that? No glimmer, no glimmer. This graves bait blind and near death. Marta is still mumbling to herself. Something about corpses and gratitude, which she didn't quite catch. Uh, very well. I must take my leave. All right. Where Done. am I? Okay, yeah. Stay away from me. Hopefully they won't. Well, there's so many of them. Probably will. All right. Hey, can you tell me where I am? Just to answer some questions. Who are you? An important cutter. The twix sick the cracks too long ago. I may last me dad. One way or another. I'm just another one trying to make a living. Okay, more what where did you where are we? Hey, what's eating you, Chief? Okay, don't it doesn't seem like you have too much right now. You know, getting killed there probably wasn't the best thing I could have done. Hi there, Quint. You see a short, fat-faced man who is covered in filth and grime. He smells that, and his teeth are rotten. He wheezes as he looks up and down at you, and says, I'm Quint! You knew? Yeah. You selling or trading? Huh? <laughs> yes. He his eyes narrow even further. Dealing, huh? With me? Or everybody, book? Which, huh? With you. With just me? No, with everyone. His so, face turns bright red. I got book! Git! Git! This keeps mine! I got first claims. You got no claims. I have barreled gut you like a flesh. Pharaoh said I could trade here. I'll murder him, he says. Wait, you my blood. You got run of the place. And he goes off and gives a piece of savvy sauce like yourself. Those are the breaks, huh? I got some questions for you. Tell me about this place. This, huh? The village. The Davis paved it over it one day. Long ago. Forget about it. Like just dig it out while looking for junk in the rig mountains. Me? I stumble across while doing with the collectors. Good place to make some jink, eh? That's good for business. I see. Alright. 
Oh, I almost won that fight. Done. The exit. I'm just gonna try and go through it. Nope. Oh, Ferret's Court. That's just so I stumbled into victory. You know, that's sort of my motto. So I stumble into victory. I almost found him. There you are! Oh, it's been a long couple hours, but we finally found you. Before you is an elderly man leaning heavily upon a crutch. His left leg is twisted, as if he tried to walk into tried to walk two directions at once and paid the price. His maggotry colored skin is bunched heavily upon his skull and is flecked with little spots. He is mumbling and smacking his lips as his eyes make a circuit of the room. Greetings. Updated my journal. Aha! The man's eyes light up as he hears your voice. Isn't my steady crop of chink come to Pharaoh's wedding garments again? Reading clips. Oh my god. Am I the steady corpse he keeps getting? That would be hilarious. Greetings, corpses. Have you come to ask Pharaoh for another jaunt into the Monterey walls? Oh my god. Pharaoh, I've come for information. I've been told that you know something about me. Know something about you? Goliath's eyes dims. He stutters you, mumbling slightly as his eyes flicker up and down in your frame. Corpse? No. Yes? Size me at yours. Ah! No! Harold, what is it? Harold's studying you with a dead even gaze. It isn't a murmur fair, corpse. No time for games. No time for Pharaoh to play the wheel. What are you asking such questions for? I have forgotten myself and was told to seek you out that you would know something of me. Eh. Pharaoh licks his lips. They make a rasping sound, like dry parchment on sand. Now who told you such a thing, corpse? Well, no one told me exactly. There are these tattoos on my back. They told me to seek you out if I ever forgot myself. Ah, so little said, so much told. Pharaoh falls silent, and suddenly you have a feeling Pharaoh is dissecting you, like a corpse on Monterey Slab. I know you would know. I know much you would know. Much, yes, much indeed. Pharaoh smiles, slowly the fold of flesh on his face, peeling back like a curtain. What do you know of me? He licks his lip again, then settles upon him crutch like a vulture. No, no, not free. The question you ask. Much I can tell you, but the telling has a cost. Pharaoh taps his flagstones with his crutch. This village is not all that lies buried beneath the rag picker square. Mm hmm. Chambers, vaults, corridors. Filled with the dead, all asleep in their coffin. Somewhere in those halls, somewhere there, lies something misplaced. Something mine. What is it? A small thing. A trinket. Such a trifle. Pharaoh turns away, as if embarrassed, but his voice sharpens like a knife. A spear. Bronze. Ugly. Feels like an egg. But tisn't as the stink of custard about it. Fetch it for me. Such a small ferret. Then I will do a favor for you, corpse. You know this. Why don't you just get one of your collectors to search for it? Because the corridors need more than my dead from this village. Strong, flash, clever. These are the qualities my villagers do not have. They go below. They do not return. Very glances at you. Perhaps the dead will welcome their own. Hmm. That is what I. A corpse. Do you know where the spear is? Ah. Pharaoh sighs like shifting sand. And why do you suppose I ask where you should look for it, corpse? I do not know where it is. I know it is buried deep, far deeper than any villager has ever gone. It appears to be in the catacombs where the waters run deep, deep. Very well, I'll do it, but I want to know what I'm buying of this trinket. There's a lot of no one rat knowing rattling around my brain back's corpse. He holds a whittled finger. One of them is this bit of wisdom. Everybody wants something. Whether they know it or not, there is much I know about you. Much that you would want to know.
Maybe you should tell me what you know, Pharaoh, or I'll pen your name in the dead book with my blood. Pharaoh's next words are delivered as if he has a chance to memorize them. Then, what I know will die with me, corpse. It'll become to ash should I die. Nothing, nothing for you. Hmm. Very well. I will see to finding the sphere for you. In exchange for what you know. Very well. A deal struck, a deal made. Pharaoh cracks his clutch his crutch sharply against the flagstones. A sphere for a peek inside my brain box. Now, corpse, there is no time to waste. Go to the gate of the south and east and tell those slumbering fools to hold it open for you. Make haste, make haste. Very well, I'll go to the gate now Updated and into the catacombs. All right, we got him. Okay. Yeah, see, I was about to end the stream, too. Have a good one, man. Uh, I'm probably going to be back with this on, like, Thursday. So if you want to follow or something. I don't have any, like, the notifications set up. So if you did, I didn't see you or anything. But, hey, thanks for sticking around. Have a good one. If you want to follow, I'll probably be back on this on Thursday. But until then, I'm going to sign off, too. So thanks so much for watching. Okay, whew, that was a good stream. A long day, but uh, I think that's been good for now. No oh, time to save. You save. Uh, let's call this one. I'm okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're seeing this as a VOD, be sure to follow or subscribe. I'll get those notifications set up for the next stream. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back on Thursday. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Uh, thanks, everyone. Goodbye.